against the Ottawa Senators. It's now time for this day to Rangers history. Let's go back to April 13, 1933. The Rangers won their second Stanley Cup in franchise history, defeating the Toronto Maple Leafs one nothing in overtime in Game 4 of the 1933 Stanley Cup Final to win the series three games to one. Rangers captain Bill Cook registered the game-winning goal in overtime. On this date in 1940, the Rangers won their third Stanley Cup in franchise history, defeating the Toronto Maple Leafs again 3-2 in overtime in Game 6 of the Final. Brian Hextall recorded the game-winning goal in overtime. And on this date in 2002, Brian Leach recorded his 700th career NHL assist, becoming the first player to record 700 assists with the New York Rangers in franchise history. That's this date in Rangers history. Everything else in the NHL will be later on today or tonight at 3 o'clock. The Kraken will be at the Dallas Stars at 4. The Avalanche welcome in the Winnipeg Jets at 5. Sabres and Panthers from Florida. Also at 5 o'clock, Philadelphia will play host to the New Jersey Devils at 5.30. The Lightning will be in Washington to take on the Capitals. Capitals desperate for two points to try to get back into the playoff race at 7. Canadians and Senators from Ottawa. The Maple Leafs home for the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit still a chance to make the playoffs at 8. Blue Jackets will be at the Nashville Predators. Another game Ranger fans will keep focused on at 8 o'clock tonight, the Bruins and Penguins from Pittsburgh. Boston starts today three points back of the Rangers in the race for the President's Trophy at 10. Canucks and the Oilers from Edmonton at 10.30. The Kings play host to the Ducks while the Sharks welcome in the Minnesota Wild. Always a pleasure to welcome in the captain, Dave Maloney. How are you, sir? Uh, very good, Donnie. How are you this uh, fair afternoon in mid-April? Yeah, a little cold, a little brisk, but the playoffs right. are right around the corner. And, and Ranger fans got a bit of a treat when we saw that Philip Hedel was practicing with the team and fantasizing about the possibility of him returning. I mean, what could this Ranger team look like with a healthy Philip Hedel in the postseason? Well, I, I think that's, you know, jumping way too far ahead okay. from the standpoint of expecting Philip Hedel to jump in. Um It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. He either comes in with that early season energy um, that would be a nice shot of energy, right? Um, or he comes in in the high speed lane and has missed the whole season. <laughs> you know, right. certainly hoping for the latter. It would be an interesting fit, right? That I, I would suspect he he would go in with Heedle or with uh, um, Cooley and Kako. That would bump. Wenberg down probably with VC and Goudreau that sort of combination. So you've got you know you got pretty pretty decent depth in the middle if if he can play. And so I just think one skate back with the team. It's let's just wait and see how this thing evolves. But if he comes back and he's healthy enough to survive. And you can't help but think that the Rangers are in a little better shape down the middle. And they're pretty good in the middle as it stands. Well, for sure. Now we turn our attention to this afternoon and the New York Islanders. And let's go between the pipes, Dave, with today's goalie matchup, which is brought to you by the McAllen Double Cast 12-year-old single malt scotch. Well, the matchup this afternoon uh, includes uh, a couple of Russian goaltenders, a couple of guys that were both drafted in the 2014 uh, uh, 14 draft and very, very good friends in Ilya Sorokin and, of course, Igor Shosturkin. When we speak of Sorokin, uh, he was taken in the third round, 78th overall. Last season's Vesna finalist. His last five, he, uh, he's 2 3 and 0 in his last five, an 892 save percentage. He has lost two consecutive, but he hasn't started since early April, where he did beat Columbus 4 um, 2, stopping 25 of 27 shots. Samsonov, um, who has been hot and really has had terrific numbers against the Rangers, he'll back up Sorokin. Sorokin's career numbers against the Blue Shirts. This will be his eighth appearance. He's 3-3-1, a 3.29 goals against average, and a 9.04 save percentage. That does include one shutout. Hasn't been quite as good as he was a year ago and has been kind of overtaken by Samsonov down the stretch here. But this is a guy with world-class skills, so the Rangers will have to work hard and create opportunities in front of he. Igor Shosturkin, this will be his 212th appearance on <clears throat> In Broadway Blue, he's looking for his 134th career win. 
course, he was taken in that same 2014 draft as his good pal. He was taken in the fourth round, uh, 118th overall. He, being Igor Shosturkin, was the 22, 2022 Vesna Trophy winner and was a Hart finalist that season. His last five, he's been 3-2-0, and uh, 13 goals against, and again, an 895 save percentage. He faced the Islanders two games ago. Gave up three goals in the first period, then basically shut the door. Of the three goals that he gave up in the first period, he kept that game to within three because the Islanders were that good in the first period. It could have been five or six, nothing. So battle of really good pals, a couple of world-class goaltenders here this afternoon at Madison Square Garden. And that is the goalie matchup brought to you by the McAllen Double Cash 12-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. The McAllen Double Cash 12-year-old single malt scotch whiskey, the perfect balance of American and European cherry season oak casts, two worlds, one McAllen imported by Edgerton Americas. Please enjoy responsibly. It's now time for the Rangers' keys to the game driven by Nissan. Well, well, well. The Rangers have come off, again, you listen to Peter Laviolette. They've come out of, off of uh, four, six periods where four, one, they weren't good enough, and they fell behind by three, and then three, they weren't good enough and lost 4-1. And I think there's a couple things here. I, I think the Rangers uh, looked at watched the game this morning against Philly, just have to be a little quicker to the puck. Quicker to the puck in all three zones, and yet quick enough to be patient enough defensively. I still think, and so that's play quicker to the puck. Now, the transition game has to be better defended. The other night against Philadelphia, there's just too many, too many open ice opportunities in the transition game. You've got to be tighter defensively. And if there's an onslaught into the offensive zone, take a look around. The most important people are the people away from the puck. And uh, the Islanders two nights ago in their uh, victory, 4-2 victory, blocked 34 shots. The Rangers outchanced them by 40. But the thing is, you've got to get the puck through. Philly did a nice job the other night blocking shots. The Rangers' perimeter game does set up their middle game, but they don't get a lot of chances in the middle. If you get a chance, you got to get the puck through. So... Again, this is it's not quite as important to the Islanders as it was uh, two, two games ago. Uh, all they need basically is a point. The Rangers now have kind of boxed themselves in a corner, but the point is they've got to be better 60 minutes defending and getting pucks to the net. And that was the Rangers' keys to the game driven by Nissan. You deserve a car that thrills you, and Nissan's got an exciting full lineup that will put goosebumps on your goosebumps. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop your local Nissan store at NissanUSA.com today. Dave, enjoy it. Thanks, Don. All right, that's Dave Maloney. I'll have the call coming up with Kenny Albert in mere moments. I will talk to you again coming up in the first intermission, but right after these messages, Kenny and Dave with the call of the Rangers and the Islanders from Madison Square Garden. New York Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. Enjoy the game, everybody. This has been New York Rangers Game Night. Rangers Hockey is coming right up on the MSG Radio Network. Get more in a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. More selection, over 750 new vehicles available, and more savings on their entire Mazda lineup. Lease a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 2.5S. Select all-wheel drive, just $239 a month at Ramsey Mazda. Route 17 North in Ramsey. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. Call 888-885-2891 for lease details. Excludes tax, tile, and registration. Zero security deposit. VIN R0413315. MSRP $30,750. And score $30,24. White Claw fans, introducing new White Claw Vodka Plus Soda. Triple Wave Filtered Vodka Plus Real Juice. White Claw invented a unique process to make superior, smoother vodka. The first Triple Wave Filtered Vodka. Blended with real fruit juice and sparkling water to deliver a vodka plus soda of unparalleled refreshment and taste. With four fruit-forward flavors, pineapple, peach, wild cherry, and watermelon. Enjoy a White Claw Vodka Plus Soda today. Available at your local New York or New Jersey retail store. 100 calories, 4.5% alcohol volume, no added sugar, gluten-free. 
Fearless Boilers, the world's best built boilers, are here to help with your heat and water heating needs. Football season is the perfect time to replace the beasts in your basement. Inefficient boiler and tank type hot water heater. A 96% efficient Fearless Boiler and a pavilion tankless water heater are the perfect match for homes, apartments, commercial buildings. You name it. Get all the heat and hot water you need efficiently and save on your energy bill all year long. Learn more about the entire Fearless Boiler family of products and to find a local installer near you, visit fearlessboilers.com or paviliontankless.com. And remember, Fearless Boilers, the world's best built boilers. To win the cup, everything needs to line up perfectly. No different than finding the person you want to marry. When the time comes to propose, do what I did. Visit the engagement experts at London Jewelers. They'll make shopping for a ring easy. Let them help you pick or design the perfect ring to fit any budget from their 2 by London collection. London Jewelers is committed to getting it just right. So visit London Jewelers today at any of their seven locations, including the newest location at the mall at Short Hills. Mention I told you to stop by and you'll get the Michael K. treatment. Rangers hockey. Out to the point for Kuba. Wrist shot, kick out, rebound, score! Artemi Panarin! This is New York Rangers hockey. Down the right side, pass for Kreider, moves in, beats, and scores! This is New York Rangers hockey. Shot, score! Rangers win! New York Rangers hockey starts right Here's Dave Maloney, and with a play-by-play, here's Kenny Albert on the MSG Radio Network. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to New York Rangers Hockey from Madison Square Garden. It's the fourth and final meeting of the regular season between the Rangers and the New York Islanders. Kenny Albert, along with the captain, Dave Maloney, game 81 of the regular season at a Huge game for both teams, standings-wise. Well, very much so. And now, listen, we go back over time, Kenny, this is our 19th season together, and I remember when it got down to the crunch uh, in Game 82 one time, we left here in the afternoon think we didn't make the playoffs, and then Tampa beat Carolina, and we were in. So it's not that dire a straight from a Rangers standpoint, but there are a couple things here. Primo, the Rangers just need to just continue to be better and and not better just play the game that's comfortable to them that's led to success and uh, the Islanders uh, you know you got to think a point probably guarantees the spot and so um, it is a, it is a big game is it crucial no but it is a big game on a couple of fronts especially given the lack of energy that the Rangers played against uh, with the lack of energy they played with um, against the Flyers the other night Speaking of, Matt Reppy back in the Rangers right. lineup today. Well, again, it, it, we, we observed it, and the crowd in the third period observed it, and I, I think it was legit. Uh, and, the, you know, it's easy in hindsight. We did notice it at the time. Uh, now he has to come in, and, and, you know, his goal today should be to play 10 minutes, 11 minutes. He doesn't need to get, you know, be aggressive on the forecheck, be smart. Make the Islander defenders know he's coming, and by and large, he, he's done that. He just hasn't played enough to manage the emotion, particularly in this building. You know, the like kid's 21. It's really hard not to get amped up at 21 when the crowd is chanting your name when you get on the ice. So I think it's just a matter of discipline and play smart, play to his strengths because his team needs the life and needs the physical presence. Coaching staff. Changed a couple of the defense pairings yes, yesterday at practice, and DeAndre Miller will start the game with Braden Snyder, which means Eric Gustafson and Jacob Trouble will be a pair. Yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle for, and I'm a, Jacob Trouba has struggled since he's been back. Now, uh, again, who knows if he's 100% healthy, uh, if that's an issue or not. We certainly do, don't know either way whether it is or isn't. Uh, nor should I think we should know. But the bottom line is Jake has just struggled a little bit with the pace. And, you know, while we talk about the Ranger team, over the course of the last 10 games, cumulatively, they are minus 9, 5-on-5. Five five. They are minus 7 in the last two games, 5-on-5. Five five. And I just think there's just a little out of sync here and probably no more representative than the pairing of Jacob Kruba and Keandre Miller. Just a tad out of sync. Riders, Abadijad, and Roslevic will start the game with 
Miller, and Schneider. For the Islanders, Fashing, Nelson, Palmieri with Romanoff and Ajo. Noah Dobson out of the Islander lineup today. Holmstrom is a healthy scratch. Goaltending matchup. Igor Shosturkin and his good buddy Ilya Sorokin, although Varlamov has played very well for the Islanders as of late, has a terrific record in this building, but it will be Sorokin starting only his third in the last nine. Day presented by Northwell as we celebrate the next generation of Rangers fans. If able, we ask that you rise and remove your hats for the national anthem. Today's colors are presented by the Civil Air Patrol cadets. Joining them are young people from Cohen Children's Medical Center and the Junior Rangers program. And here to sing the Star Spangled Banner, please welcome 16-year-old New York recording artist, Hannah Graceland. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we held At the twilight's last gleam Whose blood stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. here at Madison Square Garden the Rangers and the Islanders the Islanders defeated the Rangers on Tuesday night at UBS Arena back at it today here at the Garden Dave take it away there we go it's an afternoon start here but no better time for the opening puck drop which is brought to you by Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey because when it's game time, it's Tully time. Tullamore Dew, the original triple distilled, triple blended, and triple cask mature Irish whiskey. Be sure to grab a Tullamore Dew or try the brand new Tullamore Dew honey during today's action. Glasses up to enjoying Tullamore Dew responsibly. One for one. <laughs> Eric Furlat, John A. Bear, the referees, the linesman Brandon Garlips and Dan Kelly. Between the benches, Leah Hextall for ABC. Her grandfather, Brian Sr., scored the Stanley Cup winning goal for the Rangers on this date in 1940, April 13th. 40, the Rangers beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in overtime. The Rangers are, for starters, looking for a little more. More solid game here, and away we go. Range circuit, it's an icing call against the Islanders, 14 seconds in. You know, I read a quote from Marty St. Louis after the Islander uh, Montreal game on Thursday night. He, yeah, it was probably appropriate description of the Islanders where he said they make it really tough to play in small areas of the ice. And, you know, that's an area of the ice that doesn't come instinctively to the top Ranger players. Now the Ranger top line, and particularly the Zavanajad line, has to find a way to be more effective in those smaller areas of the ice. 
Patrick Waugh behind the Islanders bench. They've won six consecutive games for the second time since he took over. They also lost six in a row at one point. But they've gotten themselves into the third spot of the Metropolitan Division. Here's Kreider for Zibanejad. Goes to his right, walks in, shoots, and a save by Sorokin. Zibanejad plays the puck in the near corner. Out to the left point, DeAndre Miller. Puck to flex out off Brock Nelson. Rangers regroup and go for a change. Yeah, good energy into the offensive zone. His opening shift, Mika Zibanejad has points in four consecutive. A couple of goals and four assists. Now Panarin backhand shot, sticked aside by Sorokin. Sezikis with the puck for the Islanders, sends in. He's hit by Lafreniere. The Sturkin moves it up the boards, past Panarin, and down into the Islanders zone. Puck retrieved by Sebastian Ajo. Ajo starts ahead with it. No, no, Dobson. Scott Mayfield remains out. Couple of key defensemen for the Islanders. Ajo has it poked away. And the Rangers gain possession after the nice defensive play by Fox. Fox sent along into the Islanders zone. Turned back by Mike Riley. And now it's Matthew Barzell in across the line. Dropping it off for Bo Horvat. Long shot. Misses the net. Buck caroms all the way around and down. Riley back on it for the Islanders. Rangers go for a change. Cooley out with Wenberg and Kako. Islanders shoot in. Cooley on the puck for the Rangers. Leaves it for Wenberg. Now across for Cooley. Hits the red line. Now into the Islander zone. Shoots in. Unable to get it deep. Puck picked up by Wenberg. Dropping it off for Kako. Kako, tough angle shot. Saved by Sorokin. Cooley stopped on the rebound attempt. Now Gustafson keeps it alive. Carries in behind the Islander goal. Sends to the far side for Kako. Kako stick handling. Top of the right circle. Cross ice pass broken up by Paggio. And Anders Lee will carry the puck out. Hits the red line and then backhands in. Another Kako has the puck there, and he's looking, looking, looking. I think rather than that diagonal pass, just get into that. Rangers back into the Islander zone. Here's Wenberg cutting wide. Met by Ajo. Slides the puck around. Romanov over to pick it up for the Islanders. And he clears to center. Clutterbuck moves it the rest of the way. But a hand pass stops play with 2.33 gone here in the opening period. Yeah, a couple of good opportunities here early from the Rangers' standpoint as... Uh, Will Cooley drives the net. Rangers create a little havoc. Gustafson just fakes and fumbles the puck a, a, a little bit. As the crowd acknowledges cult hero Matt Remp, his first appearance on the ice here. Along with Barkley Goodrow and Jimmy Vesey. Right. Face off to the left of Sorokin. Goodrow and Nelson lean in for the draw. And now Goodrow will be thrown out of the circle. So Reppy will take the face off, and the crowd acknowledges that. Reppy wins it. Out to the right point. Schneider, wrist shot, gets blocked by Fashing. Beasy behind the net. Stuff attempt through the crease. Puck comes to Miller. Shoot, saved by Sorokin. Puck picked up by Nelson. Lead on by Reppy. Puck squirts to the near side boards. Goodrow is on it there. Far side now, Schneider with it. Schneider shoots, it goes wide. Comes out to the left point for Miller. Sends it around behind. Off the stick of Bortuzzo. Rempe and Riley chase. Puck in the skates of Rempe. Vizi comes in. Puck still pinned along the boards. Vizi works it free. Out to Snyder. And now Miller with a shot. Saved by Sorokin. Good roll. Shot blocked by Bortuzzo. Puck out of play. Pretty effective first shift for Matt Rempe. Wins the faceoff. Wins two battles in the offensive zone. You just again, you can sense there's just a little more energy when he's in the lineup you know, talk about the game the other night on Thursday night the Rangers outchanced the Islanders 91 to 51 most of that came over the, the second 40 minutes of the hockey game you hardly ever hear a buzz in the crowd when a player wins it replaces throw. someone else yeah, in the face -off it. <laughs> he wins the draw but this crowd very aware here come the Rangers three on two Fox left wings advantage at Savannah Jad, the cross. Barzell breaks up the pass. Now Horvat leads the Islanders with 33 goals into the Rangers' zone. Horvat shifting it back for Pollock. Knocked away from him by Fox. Lindgren over for the Rangers, tied up. Sezikis over to play the puck. Sezikis 
along the far boards. Centering pass broken up by Kreider. Kreider controls. Now there's the puck ahead. Rangers skating right to left. Then across the line. Wrist shot blocked and out of play. And again, I just, you know what? You want your blue line participating in the offensive rush, right? But the Rangers have been guilty too uh, recently of those defensemen getting caught deep with no protection. Right, we just saw, and, and nothing of any consequence claim, uh, came from the most recent situation of that. Cognizant here of numbers this time of the year. Off the draw, Romano with it for the Islanders. Looks to clear. Rangers hold in. Now the Islanders, Pajo sends to center. Gustafson on it for the Rangers. Here comes Prochek. Near circle, Panarin. Panarin slides it across. Ruba, wide, shoots, quick save by Sorokin, lead, over for the Islanders, cuts away from Lafreniere, ahead for Engvall, and now Engvall will carry the puck out, circles back with it, with four and a half gone here in the first period, Rangers have the only shots in the game, out shooting the Islanders now 6-0, Islanders skating left to right, Romanov moves it up the board, sent along by Martin, now Snyder, Back on it for the Rangers. Winds it around. Clutterbuck into the corner for McLean. Kyle McLean, the son of Islanders assistant coach and former Ranger John McLean. Buck sent in deep by Thomas. Snyder up the boards. Cooley will clear. Involved in a collision with Martin who hits the ice. As the Islanders shoot back in. Now Snyder for the Rangers. Across to Miller. Long pass up the right side for Cooley. Islanders go for a change. Puck played by Pollock behind the Islander net. Can clear. Held in by Fox. Across for Kako. Into the slot. Cooley off his stick. Bastion knocks it ahead for Nelson. Nelson into the Ranger zone. Moving to his left. Now passing to his right for Bortuzzo. A shot. Knocked aside by Shesterkin. Puck comes out in front. Lindgren clears it out of trouble. Puck in the near corner. Rangers control. And clear the puck down. Yeah, a lot smarter Rangers in their own end with the puck. Good play by Cooley. Down firm on the puck. Firm out with the puck. Puck deflected in by Paul Mary. Now played by Gustafson. On his right for Beasy. Shoots the puck in. Played by Bertuzzo. Behind the Islander net. Up the right side for Sezikis. Clears to center for Horvat. Now on the left wing, Riley puts on the brakes. Wrists the puck around. Sezikis waiting for it. Along the right wing boards, taken away from him. Rangers move it out to center. Pollock on it for the Islanders. Rempe back on the ice. Dan stamping his name. Puck sent in by Horvat. And now retrieved by Truba. Deep in his own zone. Shovels it ahead for Vizi. Chips it out to center. A hit by Zabanajan along the boards on Pellick. Barzell works the puck ahead for Pollock. And now Pajo had it knocked off his stick by Roslovic. Seven minutes in, first period, no score. Shots are 5-1 Rangers. They've taken one off the board. Roslovic now ahead for Kreider. Zibanejad into the Islander zone. Back out for Kreider. Now on the right wing, Roslovic moves it and shoots. Saved by Sorokin. Loose in front, Zibanejad looking for it. Comes back out to Snyder. Lost it, and Lee will clear it down into the Rangers zone. That's again, the puck's got to get to the net. Snyder's trying to make a play, get it to the net. Now Miller moves the puck ahead. Zibanejad the flex it too far for... Roslovic picked up by Engvall. Pass on the left wing. Nelson steps around Snyder. Nelson moves in. Got the puck knocked away. Gets it back. Shoot. Saved by Shesterkin. Puck picked up behind the net. Islanders control. Aho with it. Sends it in deep for Nelson. Nelson carries up the boards. And the puck forced out by Keandre Miller. Islanders regain. Aho at center. Up the right side for Palmieri. Palmieri with a shot. Sticked aside by Shesterkin. Collision along the far wall. Puck comes to the blue line. Pollock slides it across. Deflects it out of the zone. And then Pollock fires right back in. Kostorka knocks it down behind the net for Lindgren with eight minutes gone here in period one. Rangers and Islanders scoreless. Here comes Lafreniere. Up the left side for Lindgren. Wrists the puck in deep. Pollock on it for the Islanders. Moves the puck ahead. Here's Martin. Martin hits the red line. Shoots in. Clutterbuck chasing with Lindgren. They tie one another up. Fox in for the Rangers. Battle for the puck continues. McLean looks to work at three. Now Panarin over to help out. 
And Panarin will start ahead with it. Nice move around Martin. Panarin to the Islander line. Three Islanders back. Moves to his right for Trocheck. Now across. Fox walks it and shoots. Saved by Sorokin. Rangers now unable to hold in. Taken away from Trocheck by Horvat. Streaking down the right side to the net. Backhand shot stopped by Shesterkin with Gustafson all over him. And the Rangers clear the puck back out. Here come the Islanders. Horvat down the right side. Back to Barzell. Barzell spinning in the near corner. Barzell moving it for Bortuzzo. Sends in behind the Ranger goal. Struba is on it there. Reversing it back for Gustafson. Now around on the left side to Will Cooley. Cooley to center. Shoots in. Left side of the Islander net. Romanov back on it. Leaves it for Bertuzzi. Now up the right side for Paggio. And it's set ahead by Barzell. Off the stick of Sezikis. Struba controls for the Rangers. Rangers back into the Islander zone. Floated ahead by Wenberg. Into the right of the Islander goal. Romanov for Ajo. Now Anders Lee. Sends to center. Snyder fires back in. And this is an icing call against the Rangers. Contact your local Tri Honda dealer for a great deal today. Well, again, the Rangers much better at protecting any transition issue here. Again, they uh, haven't spent an inordinate amount of time in their own end, so there hasn't been an inordinate amount of running around in the defensive zone. Face off to the right of Igor Shesterkin. Tim, 26 left, opening period, no score, Rangers Islanders. Shots now 7 4, Rangers. Wenberg in for the draw with Paul Barry. Off the face off, Rangers win it. Taco up the boards and out. Knocked down by Romanov, leaving it for Nelson. Nelson back into the Rangers zone. On the left for a shot. Missed the net. Palmieri, who scored in four straight games. Ajo keeps it alive at the right point. Into the corner for Palmieri. Carries out to the circle. Backhand shot did not get through. Puck loose. And now a save by Shesterkin on Palmieri. With 10-03 remaining. First period at Madison Square Garden. No score. You're listening to Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York. And the MSG Radio Network. Experience the sophisticated taste of the best single malt whiskey in the world, the Macallan, founded in 1824. The Macallan is renowned worldwide for its extraordinary single malt whiskeys. Their outstanding quality and distinctive character reveal the uncompromised excellence they pursue. Whether your taste is sherry oak or double cask, the Macallan single malt whiskey is for you. Pick up the Macallan today at your nearest liquor store. The Macallan, the single malt whiskey against which all others must be judged. Crafted without compromise. Please savor the Macallan responsibly. The pickle Pickleball craze is real. It's fun, social, and friendly. So whether you're new to pickleball or a seasoned vet, up your game at Pickleball America in the Stanford Town Center Mall. It's one of the largest indoor pickleball venues in the U.S. with top-notch facilities, expert instructors, and the flexibility to host social and in the pickleball community today at Pickleball America in Stanford. Visit pickleballamerica.us or just drop in. Pickleball America is open seven days per week. Fearless Boilers, the world's best-built boilers, are here to help with your heat and water heating needs. Football season is the perfect time to replace the beasts in your basement. Inefficient boiler and tank-type hot water heater. A 96% efficient Fearless Boiler and a pavilion tankless water heater are the perfect match for homes, apartments, commercial buildings. You name it, get all the heat and hot water you need efficiently and save on your energy bill all year long. Learn more about the entire Fearless Boiler family of products and to find a local installer near you, visit PeerlessBoilers.com or PavilionTankless.com. And remember, Fearless Boilers, the world's best built boilers back in the garden midway through the first period rangers and island is scoreless how about louis Domingue scoring a goal last night last night as the hartford wolfpack clinched the playoff spot right at, at some point that's going to become more the norm than not you know given the athleticism of the, the successive generations of goaltenders i was thinking that you know, as I watched the clip of uh, Domingue and the celebration, right? That might moving forward. I just think they're going to be more goaltenders. They're going to be capable of doing that. <laughs> it's a little bit like, has come close yeah, a couple of times. It's a little bit like the Michigan, right? Like when that came out, it came out. Now it's, you know, you see it. You know, all right, there's just another play, right? Nobody was trying it back in your day. No. Off the draw, Barzell. Barzell near corner. Knocked down by Fox. Centering pass broken up. Comes out to Pollock. At the right point. Now that is with the puck. 
Set it to the corner by Sezikis. Now for Horvat. Pass blocked off by Fox. Rangers clear the puck out. Now Pellick with it for the Islanders. Across for Pollock. Up the right side. Deflected in by Barzell. Horvat and Fox in behind the Ranger goal. Puck now comes to Sezikis. Far side. Wraps it around for Pollock. Pollock towards the net. Deflected by Sezikis and a save by Shesterkin. Well, again, like, uh, uh, this is the most dangerous Islander line is this threesome. And Sezikis, we talked about him on Thursday night. You know, traditionally, really an important part of the identity of the Islanders as that fourth uh, fourth rotation center ice, but he's fit in nicely here. He creates a lot of kind of the mucking down low. Horvat's not afraid of the traffic either. It's a little different look from the Islanders' top line. In the meantime, Ranger coaching staff doubling up Panarin already here. This off to the left of Shesterkin. Shots down seven apiece. Rangers had the first five. Goodrow and Paggio. Rangers control and clear the puck out. Knocked down at center by Ajo. Up the middle for Paggio. Into the Ranger zone. Pass on the left side for Lee. Lee carries in behind the Ranger net. Tried to center for Paggio. Broken up. Lee now leaves it for Ajo. Around now for Paggio. Centering pass. Gustafson got a piece of it. And then a right pad saved by Shesterkin. Puck is loose. Comes in front. Lee tied up. Shesterkin reaching for it. Lee keeps it alive. Out to the right point for Ajo. Shesterkin without a stick. Islanders maintain control of the puck. Ingvall for Paggio. Shesterkin's stick is behind the net, so he can't get to it. Shot by Ingvall. Misses the net. Comes back around for Ajo. Keeps it alive at the right point. Buck along the wall. Battle for it. And now the Rangers clear. The Starker will water behind to get a stick. Here's Lafreniere. Down the oh. left side. Pass across. Was behind Trocek. Oh, man. That puck has to get to the net, Kenny. Now Engvall picks it up for the Islanders. Clears to center. Off the glass and out of play. That just You live dangerously in your own end, playing below the hash marks in your own end. You get an opportunity coming the other way and don't execute. Put the puck on the net. Simple, simple, simple hockey. New York Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand for 2023. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. Contact your local Honda dealer for a great deal today. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and Type R car and driver January 2023. Based on 2023 brand image words from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Attention hockey fans, let's talk winning off the ice. Thrive Well Infusion specializes in delivering cutting edge infusion therapies for rare diseases and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. At Thrive Well, patients receive care, comfort, convenience, and compassion so they can get back to cheering for their favorite teams. From New York to New Jersey and across Long Island, Thrive Well offers private state-of-the-art infusion suites along with breakaway treatment from their highly trained medical team. Find out more at thrivewellinfusion.com. Thrivewell, saving lives drip by drip. When your team's best players have all been traded and the latest pick is overrated, just raise a glass with a friend or two and tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do. May your team be great and your picks be true And if it falls apart, you'll know what to do Just raise a glass with a fan or two And tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, Jew It's a crazy world, so what do you do? You tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, Jew hey. Tell them more, Jew, Irish whiskey, 40% alcohol, William Grant and Sons, Inc. New York That was the perfect time to replace your old boiler and water heater With a new Peeler's Water and Pavilion Tankless Water Heater don't wait, act now. Go to PeerlessBoilers.com for a dealer near you. Remember, Peerless Boilers, the world's best built boilers. Face off to the left of <clears throat> Ilya Sorokin, who made two good saves early as the Rangers came out hard the first three minutes. But the Islanders, if you talked about the Islanders the other night, Kenny. They they are playing more like Islander hockey now with, with the energy they need to play to be effective. You can say, talk about Patrick Waugh trying to change things, reinvent the wheel. This is still a team that identity is going to force you to work. They soft to the left of Sorokin. Fully with it for the Rangers. Badly with Riley. Now for Kako. Puck out in front. Clutterbuck. 
Over to the Islanders. Ahead to McLean. Backhands out. Miller gets it back the other way. Held in by McLean. McLean defended by Winberg. Right up along the boards. Puck taken away by Keandre Miller. Miller moves it up the left wing and down. This will be an icing call against the Rangers. But again, now McLean gets into the lineup, right? With Patrick Watt brings him in. Now he goes into that spot where Sezikis was, and you just watch him go down one on one in that particular sequence, and that's typical Islander hockey. Dump it in, go hard, go hard on the four check, face off to the right of Igor Shusterkin. 7:47 uh, six left, opening period. Off the face off, Wiley with the puck, shot gets blocked by Kako. Now without a stick, cleared ahead with a skate by Winburn. How about that play? Kako picks it up on the right wing, lost it to Riley. Winberg showing his soccer skills there. Now Palmieri takes a hit allowing Winberg with a stick to keep it alive for Cooley. Back for Kako. Kako just inside the line. Far side Fox. Fox wrist shot deflected wide by Will Cooley. Held in by Lindgren. Moves the puck around. Fox waiting for it. Fox sends it back behind the net. Past Kako. Now Lindgren over for the Rangers. Into the corner. Winberg behind the net. Held up by Riley. Aho comes in. Penalty coming up against the Islanders. Delayed call. Fox keeps the puck alive. Give and go. Fox with the extra skater on for the Rangers. Back out. Jump by Lindgren. Right pad saved by Sorokin. And now the whistle. Rangers will have the game's first power play. Well, the Rangers has, is more typical than not. When they get into the offensive zone, they rim it around, rim it around, rim it around. Right? Now this time, minor penalty. Holding. It draws a penalty. It's the board battle forces Riley to grab a hold of Cooley in the offensive zone. But the point about the rim arounds is eventually you got to get the puck to the net. As the crowd here is urged on with the Ranger power play. Now the Ranger power play has been terrific. There's no question that that has been their saving grace here down the stretch. Five goals the last ten attempts. Islanders shoot the puck down ice. Riley in for holding 13-11 the time. Rangers start up ice right to left. Fox dropping it back for Zibanejad. Zibanejad through center. Pass on the left for Kreider. Sends far corner. Pellick over for the Islanders. Now Pollock back to Pellick. Up the boards for Nelson and he clears. Well that dump in by Chris Kreider. Now again, if you're going to get rid of it, you've got to be in a good position to get it back. Rangers back through center. Zibanejad, pass on the right, broken up. Comes out to Fox. Near side for Trocek. Back out to Adam Fox. Fox straight away. Down to the left circle, Zibanejad. Zibanejad holds. Cross side, Fox, right side. Fox back out. Zibanejad with the puck. Down for Panarin, a shot blocked by Pullock. Another shot by Panarin, just wide. I think that was deflected by Kreider. Now Kreider plays the puck. Back out it comes to Zibanejad. Right circle. Near side Panarin. Panarin moves to his right. Shoots. Blocked in front. Then an attempt by Zibanejad. Stop. Kreider with a whack at it. Fox keeps it alive. Fox carries out. Shot. Deflected. Saved by Sorokin on the Panarin redirect. Now Zibanejad with it. Out to Panarin right side. Now Fox straight away. Fox back out to Panarin. Panarin walks in, shoots, blocked in front by Pellick. Comes back out to Panarin at the left point. Down low is Abadijan along the goal line. Walks to the net, slides it across, broken up. Now Kreider on it for the Rangers. 20 seconds remaining on the penalty. Panarin left circle. Abadijan a deflection, high and wide. Kreider back out to Fox. Now Panarin, cross ice. Abadijan shoots, quick pass work by the Rangers, saved by Sorokin. Five seconds remaining on the penalty. Fox has it right point. Fox back out, but Aaron fires, blocked in front by Pollock, and then sent through the crease by Trocek. Riley out of the box, clears the puck to center. Pass up the left side from Riley for Sezikis. Sezikis shot, saved by Shesterkin. Rangers certainly had their chances on the power play. We remain scoreless, four and a half to go in the first. How many shots did the Islanders block there, you think? Four? At least. Wow. Now Sezikis centers, Horvath stops. Stick saved by Shesterkin. And the puck deflects out of play. 4.22 remaining. In the first period for Madison Square Garden. Rangers and Islanders are scoreless. Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. Excellent. 
All right, so there we were, cruising through the new open-air zoo, when I realized that the park was closing in like 15 minutes. That's when the afternoon took an exciting turn. Luckily, we were in my Nissan Rogue. With its powerful DC turbo engine, well, we had more than enough time to see all the animals. Whoa! <laughs> and outrun a few! Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low $329 per month lease for 36 months on the 2024 Nissan Rogue. Shop at your local Nissan store or at NissanUSA.com. Well-qualified lessees. 2024 Rogue S all-wheel drive. $34.89 initial payment excludes tax, title, license, and $695 acquisition fee. Disposition fee due at lease end. Take from new dealer stock. Call 1-888-858-8319 for offer details. Ends 4 24 Tito's Handmade Vodka on game day? Pour me in, coach. From a seat in the stands to the best seat on the couch, root for your favorite team with your favorite team spirit. No matter who's on your roster, lineup, or lucky jersey, make Tito's your first round bottle pick. Whose house? Tito's house. Find cocktail recipes for every fan at titosvodka.com. 40% alcohol by volume, namely 80 proof, crafted to be savored responsibly. 422 remaining in the first period. Rangers and Islanders scoreless. Yeah, a pretty good uh, Ranger power play. A lot of blocked shots, blocked passes by the uh, Islander penalty killers. A penalty kill that is dead last in the league on a cumulative thing over the course of the season. I think they've been much better in their penalty kill. A little more aggressive, a little quicker to positioning. In the meantime, Sorokin there, if all else failed. Face off here to the right of Igor Shosturkin, 422 left, opening period, no score. Off the draw, Romanov with a drive. Glove save made by Shosturkin, he hangs on to it. Right, clear face-off win by the New York Islanders in the offensive zone. Kyle McLean, good job. McLean in for the draw once again. Rangers win this one, Truba. Behind the net, Gustafson up the left side, Beasy. Beasy plays the puck down, no icing. Reppy on the ice, came on after the faceoff, puck up into the netting in the Islander zone. Right. Good job by Barkley Goudreau getting in hard on Romanoff, and he really didn't have a whole lot of time to think other than just to kind of bat the puck, and the batted puck goes into the netting. And, Rangers will get an offensive zone face-off as a result. As Rempe now will come in for an, another face-off here, this time against Horvat. He beat Nelson earlier. To the left of the Islander goal. Horvat wins this one. Islanders clear the puck out. Fox has it taken away by Barzell. Puts on the brakes. Cross size. Good defensive play by Rempe to get back. Intercepted the pass. Bucket center. Barzell shoots back in. Now Horvat along the right wing boards. Shouldered by Lindgren. Puck in behind the net. Now Barzell with it. Out to the left point for Pellick. Down low to Barzell. Shoots. Pad saves to Sturkin. Barzell with it behind the net. Barzell cuts the other way. Leads on by Goudreau. Oh, man. Now a Ranger penalty. Barzell maintains control. Extra skater on for the Islanders. Barzell still with it. Near side, Sezikis. Back out for Pellet. Ben Sezikis lets it go through. Six Islanders on the ice. Delay penalty call coming up. Here's Horvat, right circle. Looking. Flies it across. Too hard for Barzell. Touch made by Rempe. It is a holding penalty. Oh. And the Rangers will be down a man. Yeah, this happened right in front of the official. Barzell does a really good job of protecting the puck. Using yeah, his body. Holding. Using his length. You know, he's not a, a tall guy, but he gets his hands out. Gets the stick out away. And then... Goudreau has to reach in, reaches in with the left hand and pulls on the left arm of Matthew Barzell, who Barzell, like I said, did a really good job of drawing this penalty. So the Islander power play will get its opportunity here in the first period. The Rangers 0 for 1, face off to the left of Igor Shosturk, and that would be the Rangers power play 0 for 1, Kenny. Islanders 0 for their last 7. Not scored a power play goal their last three games, although they've won all three. Puck fired down by the Rangers. Three minutes to go in the period. 
with Goodrow in the box for holding. Here come the Islanders. Nelson flips it up the left side for Engvall. Engvall moves the puck around. Pollock waiting. Pollock back for Engvall. Now Nelson for Pollock. Right point. Sliding to his left. Pollock into the corner. Engvall pressed by Truba. Puck worked around by Palmieri for Nelson. Out to the right point. Riley slides it across. Pollock with it. Remember, no Dobson today for the Islanders. Usually a mainstay on the power play. Pollock for Riley. Riley straight away. On his right now for Brock Nelson. Carries the puck back out of the zone as the Islanders reset. Now Palmieri working it back for Riley. A minute to go on the Ranger penalty and 2.15 on the clock here in period one. Barzell in across the line. On the left for Horvat. Miller poke checks it away. Puck winds up in the Ranger bench. That's a good job by Miller. He poke checks it and then bats it out of the air. It does go into the Rangers bench. And we're going to have a discussion here, I think, about who touched that puck last. I thought perhaps Ajo, it went off Ajo's stick into the Ranger bench, but there doesn't seem to be any contention on far on the part of the Rangers coaching staff. Face off to the right of Igor Shosturkin. 53 seconds remaining on the good roll minor. Buck is dropped. There's a loose stick on the ice. That's picked up by Adam Fox. Puck sent along by Horvat for Anders Lee. Back behind the net, Pajot. Now to the far side for Barzell. Barzell up the boards for Ajo. Ajo. Shot pitfalls. Now a lead pass from Miller for Kreider. Two on one. Rangers. Kreider to the left circle. Shoots. Missed the net. Puck caroms around. And now an odd bad rush for the Islanders. Here's Barzell. Three on two. Back out for Pajot. Pajot shoots. Blocked by the stick of Fox and out of play. Well, once again, I, I mean, now you beg you, the next step is you're going to shoot the puck and then hit the net. <laughs> Short-handed. Short-handed. You rifle it hard over the guy. Then it's an odd man rush the other way. I guess we take the small victories over something that really didn't happen as a result. Thanks off to the right here of Igor Shosturkin. A minute 33 left in the period. 21 seconds left in the Islanders' power play. This could very well be a first-round playoff matchup also. In a couple of different ways, right? Yeah. Division winner versus second wild card or second place versus third place, depending on how things play out. Right. Penalty time winding down. Here comes Barzell. And amazingly, as BZ clears, these teams have not met in the playoffs since 1994. Well, the Rangers, were, the Rangers and the Islanders weren't very good for, you know, the late 90s into the 2000s. Right, they both had long stretches out of the postseason. Right. And then, Islander, you know, the Islanders weren't good when the Rangers were making their run, so. Penalty over. Here comes Abanajad, final minute of the period. Abanajad, left circle, slides it across. Shot missed the net from Snyder. Down to 40 seconds. Panarin back across for Schneider. Schneider shoots. Saved by Sorokin. Zabanajad whacking at it. Sorokin hangs on. Yeah, good surge here right towards the end. Mika Zabanajad's playing with a lot more energy. I think he's representative of his club. Coming out of a game where the energy was really on fumes against the Flyers. And that took nothing against, uh, from the Flyers. And they came in here and they played hard. And their, their forwards were good. Uh, but in the meantime, there was not a whole lot of pushback from the Rangers. Shots tied at 11 apiece. Neither one has crossed the goal. Neither team's 11 shots have crossed the goal line. So we've got no score here with 37.7 left in the first period of regulation. They saw to the left of Sorokin. Comes the Fox. Now Lindgren. Lindgren shoots wide. Looking for a redirect. The Wentworth keeps it alive. Now a high stick on Kako. Got the stick up on Bortuzzo. Yeah, so well that's, uh, again, I, I think this is, you know, Kako comes in. He know It's a battle with a big guy, and he comes in with pace. He tries to get out to find the puck, and that stick is above the shoulders. Double minor for high stick. Oh, boy. Double minor. Well, the good news is it's at the end of the period here, so the Rangers just have to kill the 24 seconds. Yeah, and Bortuzzo, he had been bent over, right? So, but still, that Kako stick was about shoulder height and probably higher. 
So it's a double minor. Islander power play late here in the first period. Taco in the box for four minutes. Face off to the left of Shesterkin. Rangers control. Puck skated ahead by Trocek. Hits the red line. Moves it into the Islander zone. Aho back on it. Down to 20 seconds remaining. Aho starts up ice to the red line. Now pass on the right for Pajot. 10 seconds. Tied up along the boards by Lindgren, who forces the puck out. Time winding down, so that should do it. Three seconds. Rangers again clear. So the Islanders will have a three and a half minute power play when we begin play in the second period. Scoreless after 20 minutes. Rangers out shooting the Islanders 12-11. Well, here's the thing. I think, you know, when you... The Islanders have won six in a row, right? <clears throat> and to me, they are playing like the team I think a lot of people thought would be a team in the playoffs would be hard to beat. And that's what I see in the Islanders. They're a team that competes. They're not overly dynamic, although I think their upper end is more of a threat than it's been in recent history, Islander history. I think their discipline is still there. Their goaltending has been good. This is, this is not the Islanders who are just magically showing up in the playoffs. This is a team that I think a lot of people expected them to be. And the Rangers have their hands full. They'll come back and get through the first three and a half minutes unscathed and go from there. And as you mentioned, certainly a potential first-round matchup. There are still seven teams the Rangers could face in the opening round of the playoffs. It will all get settled over the next four or five days. All right. All right. No okay. score after one period here this afternoon at Madison Square Garden as the Rangers look to end a two-game losing streak. Islanders with the six consecutive wins. And playing very well under head coach Patrick Waugh. Rangers will wrap up the regular season Monday night. Home here at the Garden against the Ottawa Senators. And then we will see how things play out with regard right. to the first round right. of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Well, that's the thing. You talk about the um, Islanders. And I, I, I do think when Patrick Waugh comes in, right, I think he tries to change, trying to look for a spark, trying to... But it's just a matter of getting a team that, that identity has been established over quite some time being better at their identity. And I think that's what he's been able to do. And, uh, you know, you throw, you make that tweak, you get McLean into the lineup. But really, that, that roster has been largely the, the same for quite some time. And I think that's, the, that's what Patrick Watt and me has been able to do is get them to play to their identity, but be better at that identity. In the meantime, the Rangers, a pretty good period, got in a little bit of trouble fishing for the puck in the defensive zone, got off to a good start, uh, you know, had the first five shots on goal, but the Islanders kind of weathered that storm and went about their business. Rangers with 12 shots in the first period, 11 for the Islanders. The kids game taking place, looks like about eight on eight. On the ice down at Madison Square Garden. They're not that much younger than Will Cooley who joins us now. <laughs> Will, thanks for taking a couple of minutes. In that first period, Rangers had the edge early, the first five shots. Then each team had a power play, uh, late penalties so the Islanders on a power play. Now, uh, your thoughts on period one? Uh, I mean, it was pretty even, I thought. Um, they usually come up pretty hard in the first period. Um, last couple times we played them, so. I mean, we kind of weathered their storm, and I think, you know, we'll just try to keep building on it next period. So I guess, Will, obviously the key is to get through the penalties here in the second period, but fundamentally, where do you, where do you think your team Nick, needs to get to the next level? Uh, I think just more shots, keeping it simple. Uh, he's a pretty good goalie, so we got to get someone in his eyes and just deliver more pucks to the net. Obviously, uh, a few good chances there early, just rebounds, dirty areas, and I feel like that's going to be uh, the type of goals that are scored tonight. Your first full season, uh, you know, five periods remaining. Uh, these rivalry games, Flyers the other night, Islanders today, uh, how do you enjoy them? A little bit extra when, when the Islanders come to town? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, over the course of the year, I've kind of learned uh, learned about the rivalries and stuff. and You can kind of see it here. There's When we play in Long Island, lots of Rangers fans. Not as many Islanders fans when we play at home, but, you know, it's still uh, it's a big rivalry. You know, them, Boston, New Jersey, all those teams like that. It's pretty fun playing against them. And finally for me, uh, Will, just uh, when you're lined with uh, Wenberg in the middle and Kako on the right, when you guys are playing uh, to the top of your game, how does that look? 
I think just close, connected. I think, um, you know, we all have lots of skill, and I usually find myself at the net playing with the two of them a lot, and I think, um, you know, they like to cycle a lot on the outside, and we just get, when we're playing good, we just close to each other, supporting the puck, and getting lots of shots on that. All right, Will, thanks for taking a couple of minutes. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Will. Will Cooley of the New York Rangers, scoreless after one period. Let's pause 10 seconds to allow stations to identify themselves on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. This is your radio home for New York Rangers hockey. This is 98.7 ESPN, WEPN-FM, New York. Rangers and Islanders scoreless after one period here at Madison Square Garden. Don LaGreca will take you through the first intermission. You're listening to Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. Experience the sophisticated taste of the best single malt whiskey in the world, the Macallan, founded in 1824. The Macallan is renowned worldwide for its extraordinary single malt whiskeys. Their outstanding quality and distinctive character reveal the uncompromised excellence they pursue. Whether your taste is sherry oak or double cask, the Macallan single malt whiskey is for you. Pick up the Macallan today at your nearest liquor store. The Macallan, the single malt whiskey against which all others must be judged. Crafted without compromise. Please savor the Macallan responsibly. To win the cup, everything needs to line up perfectly. No different than finding the person you want to marry. When the time comes to propose, do what I did. Visit the engagement experts at London Jewelers. They'll make shopping for a ring easy. Let them help you pick or design the perfect ring to fit any budget from their 2 by London collection. London Jewelers is committed to getting it just right. So visit London Jewelers today at any of their seven locations, including the newest location at the mall at Short Hills. Mention I told you to stop by and you'll get the Michael K. treatment. Fearless Boilers, the world's best-built boilers, are here to help with your heat and water heating needs. Football season is the perfect time to replace the beasts in your basement. Inefficient boiler and tank-type hot water heater. A 96% efficient Fearless Boiler and a pavilion tankless water heater are the perfect match for homes, apartments, commercial buildings. You name it. Get all the heat and hot water you need efficiently and save on your energy bill all year long. Learn more about the entire Fearless Boiler family of products and to find a local installer near you, visit PeerlessBoilers.com or PavilionTankless.com. And remember, Fearless Boilers the world's best built boilers. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the Road Trip Ready Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid from Honda. So bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the far destinations. Bring on the memories. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid or CRV Hybrid. Contact your local Honda dealer for a great deal today. See dealer for financing details. This is your local Tri Honda Dealers New York Rangers Intermission Report. Now here's Don LaGreca on the MSG Radio Network. No goals to the first period. Rangers and the Islanders of Madison Square Garden. Welcome to the first intermission report brought to you by your Tri Honda Dealers. Contact your local Tri Honda Dealer for a great deal today. Let's recap the period. No goals, but some pretty good goaltending. And both teams had their opportunity on the power play. And one that will carry over into the second period for the Islanders as it was Riley for holding at 13-11, giving the Rangers their first power play opportunity. Rangers so far this year, 5 for 9 on the power play against the Islanders in the previous three meetings, but they couldn't cash in on that one, although the power play spent a lot of time in the zone, just couldn't crack the code of Sorokin. Then Barkley Goodrow took a holding penalty at 16-47. The Rangers killed that off, but then Capo Caco at 19-31, a double minor for high sticking. So the Islanders will have three minutes and 31 seconds of power play time to start the second. Rangers outshot the Islanders in the first period, 13-11. to 11, And we are scoreless after one. Is the Rangers' top shelf performance brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Both goaltenders were outstanding so far in this one. The ice was tilted early with the Rangers getting seven of the first eight shots on goal with Sorokin being very good. And then Igor Shosturkin, when the ice started to tilt the other way, uh, the Rangers goaltender was stellar as well. So both goaltenders outstanding. And that's the Rangers top shelf performance brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Tito's Handmade Vodka on game day. Pour me in, coach. Find cocktail recipes for every fan at titosvodka.com. 40% alcohol by volume, namely 80 proof, crafted to be savored responsibly. When we come back, we are going to give you the schedule. For the uh, out-of-town scoreboard, lots of games, lots of important games, especially who's going to make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference and where everybody will be seated. 
as everything will be done next Thursday. Rangers' regular season will end on Monday when they take on the Ottawa Senators. So much up for grabs for both of these teams, and we'll dive into it coming up in just a bit. And then we will drop the puck for the second period of Madison Square Garden with Rangers and Islanders are scoreless after one period of play. New York Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. Ranger fans, when deciding to take a charter bus, there is only one choice. That's Best Trails and Travel, New York City's premier charter bus company. Best Trails and Travel have the highest level of charter bus service in New York City and has been serving New York's leading corporations, professional sports teams, and private individuals for over 25 years. They offer premier customer service and the newest fleet of buses in the industry. Whether you're traveling with family, friends, or colleagues, Best Trails and Travel guarantees you the ultimate traveling experience. Visit them at besttrailstravel.com or call 212-206-6974. Attention New York and Rangers fans everywhere. Let's get serious about something really cool. New Mucinex Kickstart gives a morning jolt of instant cooling sensation, like an icy slap shot during a Rangers morning skate. You follow? I mean, the menthol flavor is as brisk as the ice they play in. Gotta make sense now why Mucinex is an official sponsor of the New York Rangers. So what are you waiting for? Score some Mucinex Kickstart and head to the garden. It's not cold and flu season. It's comeback season. Use as directed. Let's go, Rangers! 30 for 30, 30 for 30, 30 for 30, come get some! What am I talking about? I'm talking about Security Dodge's 30 for 30 sale. You can take up to 30% off MSRP during the next 30 days on brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xe's, Gladiators, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, all up to 30% off MSRP. Come get some! Shop 24-7 at securitydodge.com during our Jeep Celebration event. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrict Choking is leading cause of accidental deaths. One child dies every five days from choking, but let me tell you about LifeVac, a life-saving airway clearance device which has saved over 1,950 lives. LifeVac is the easiest, safest, and only non-invasive choking rescue device that can save the life of your loved one. For a small investment, less than $75, you can be prepared to save a life. Visit LifeVac.net and enter promo code ESPN to save 20% and secure your home kit today. That's LifeVac.net and enter promo code ESPN. Hey, New Yorkers, tonight's hockey is presented by Heineken Silver. New Heineken Silver is a world-class light beer with only 2.9 carbs and just 95 calories. Choosing a light beer usually means sacrificing on taste or quality. But with Heineken Silver, say goodbye to compromise. Heineken Silver has all the taste with no bitter endings. So this spring and throughout the playoffs, grab a surprisingly crisp and refreshing Heineken Silver. Taste the difference. Available at your local Heineken retailer or for delivery at heineken.com forward slash silver. Must be 21 plus to purchase. Enjoy Heineken responsibly. Tickets for the 2024 NHL Stanley Cup playoffs are on sale now. There's nothing like playoff hockey in New York, so visit NewYorkRangers.com slash TIX to secure your seats. Don LaGreca back here with you. Madison Square Garden, the side of the Rangers and the Islanders scoreless after one period of play. Although the Islanders will have a three-and-a-half-minute power play to start the second period with Capo Caco in the box for a double liner for high sticking. Everything else will be later on today or tonight in the NHL at 3 o'clock. The Kraken will be in Dallas to take on the Stars. Stars trying to win the President's Trophy. They're a point back of the Rangers for that with 109 points. At 4 o'clock, the Colorado Avalanche will welcome in the Winnipeg Jets. At 5, Sabres at the Panthers. Flyers playing host to the Devils. While at 5.30, the Lightning will be at the Washington Capitals. At 7 o'clock, Senators welcome in the Montreal Canadiens, while Detroit will be in Toronto to take on the Maple Leafs. At 8 o'clock, Predators hosting the Blue Jackets. At 8 o'clock, the Bruins and the Penguins from Pittsburgh. Bruins three points back of the Rangers in the President's Trophy race. At 10 o'clock, Canucks and Oilers from Edmonton. At 10.30, Kings play host to the Ducks, while the Wild will be at the Sharks. You look at the standings in the Eastern Conference. We mentioned the situation for the Rangers. Islanders in good shape in third place in the Metro with 89 points. So you look at the bottom of the conference. Pittsburgh's got the last playoff spot with 86 points. Washington a point back. Detroit a point back. Philadelphia's a point back, although they've played one more game 
then Detroit, Washington, and Pittsburgh. So a lot of important games coming up later on tonight with nothing really being resolved for the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Uh, in the West, pretty much everybody is in. St. Louis still with a mathematical possibility of making the playoffs, but it's pretty uh, thin. And now it looks like uh, it's just a matter of seeding in the Western Conference. What's on tap brought to you in the second period, brought to you by New Heineken Silver. Well, we know how good the Rangers have been in the second period, plus 17 goal differential, while the Islanders are minus 25. It's been a really tough period for the Islanders, so see if the Rangers can take advantage of that in the second. That was What's on Tap, brought to you by New Heineken Silver, world-class light beer with only 2.9 carbs and 95 calories. Heineken has all the taste. No bitter endings available at your local Heineken retailer or delivery at heineken.com slash silver. Well, I'll talk to you again coming up in the second intermission, but coming up after these messages, Kenny Gaday with a call to period number two from Madison Square Garden. Rangers and Islanders are scoreless heading into the second. The Rangers still have to kill off three and a half minutes of power play time as Kako sits in the box for a double minor for high sticking. You're listening to Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York on the MSG Radio Network. This has been your local Tri Honda dealers New York Rangers intermission report. Blue Shirts Hockey is next. White Claw fans, introducing new White Claw Vodka Plus Soda. Triple Way filtered vodka plus real juice. White Claw invented a unique process to make superior, smoother vodka. The first Triple Way filtered vodka. Blended with real fruit juice and sparkling water to deliver a vodka plus soda of unparalleled refreshment and taste. With four fruit forward flavors, pineapple, peach, wild cherry, and watermelon. Enjoy a White Claw Vodka Plus Soda today. Available at your local New York or New Jersey retail store. 100 calories, 4.5% alcohol volume, no added sugar, gluten free. Attention hockey fans, let's talk winning off the ice. Thrive Well Infusion specializes in delivering cutting-edge infusion therapies for rare diseases and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. At Thrive Well, patients receive care, comfort, convenience, and compassion so they can get back to cheering for their favorite teams. From New York to New Jersey and across Long Island, Thrive Well offers private, state-of-the-art infusion suites along with breakaway treatment from their highly trained medical team. Find out more at thrivewellinfusion.com. Thrive Well, saving lives drip by drip. Well, I talk for a living, and whether I'm in the studio or at the ballpark, I'm sure to have a cup of Bigelow tea by my side. There's nothing like fueling my voice, body, and soul with only the finest tea. Bigelow Earl Grey. This delightful blend of black tea and real bergamot oil is not your ordinary tea. It's a broadcaster's dream come true. Keeps me energized and focused throughout the broadcast, ensuring I deliver nothing but the best for my loyal listeners. So join the millions of fans that make Bigelow Tea number one in New York. Bigelow Tea, the official hot tea of the New York Yankees. Welcome back to Madison Square Garden. Kenny Albert, Dave Baloney. We get set for the second period. Islanders will begin on a power play for three and a half minutes yeah. with Kako Acapo in the box. Picked up a double minor for high sticking. I would say this is going to be a pretty important three and a half minutes. Uh, again, the Islanders just are not going to give. They don't give up anything five on five. And Sorokin, to me, looks like he's on top of his game, the way he's moving. Well, I think the Rangers just, you know, as best they can, is weather this three-and-a-half-minute storm here at the start of the second period and go from there. Speaking of which, the second period puck drop is brought to you by Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Because when it's game time, it's Tully time. Tullamore Dew, the original triple distilled, triple blended, and triple cask mature Irish whiskey. Be sure to grab a Tullamore Dew or try the brand new Tullamore Dew honey during this afternoon's action. Glasses up to enjoying a Tullamore Dew responsibly. Two for two. <laughs> well, away we go. Hopefully the Rangers get through this penalty and we can I can think about having a Tullamore Dew in celebration of a victory. How about that one? There you go. There you go. You still have to read it one more time. <laughs> one more time, yeah. Before I have the uh, drinking celebration, right. I suppose. <clears throat> Igor Shosturkin to our left. Ilya Sorokin to our right. Shots in the first period. They added one on the Rangers side. So now 13-11. With yeah. the Islanders on the power play to begin the second. And the Islanders, or Ranger power play was good. Uh, you know, he's talked about Sorokin having to be good right up the start. The Rangers the first five shots of the period. And they all came in the first two and a half, three minutes. 
Sorokin had to make two quality saves during those sequence. The Rangers on the south side of that 50% efficient face-off line, that 47% efficient in the first period. Get a face-off here in the middle of the ice, Kenny. And away we go. Goodrill and Paggio. Goodrill wins the draw. Back to Truba. Truba in his own zone. Across for Lindgren. Holds. And now shoots it down ice. So the Islanders will set things up. 3.15 remaining on the power play. Skating right to left here in period two. Aho dropping the puck back off. Here comes Barzell. Into the Ranger zone. Moves to his left. Now curls. Out top of the left wing circle. Throws to the point for Aho. Slides it cross ice to Horvat. Horvat turns, shoots, it goes wide. Barzell picks up the puck in the near corner. Around behind for Anders Lee. Now Horvat with it. Aho straight away. Shot gets blocked by Trocek, who clears the zone. Now Trocek does a nice job. He blocks it, doesn't turn away from Aho, and knocks the puck down the ice. Now Barzell back into the Ranger end. Had it knocked off his stick. Rangers look to clear, held in by Barzell. Down the left side, Barzell now gives the puck away. Picked off by Zibanejad. Three on one, shorthanded. Zibanejad down the right side. Moving in, shoots. Oh. And Sorokin got a piece of it. Looked to go short side on a three on one. Puck comes back out to Fox, shoots. That goes wide. Truba on the puck, sends it all the way back into his own zone for Shesterkin as both teams make changes. Nothing against Mika, but that might have been the worst option on a three on one. I thought he was going to drop it to Truba. Truba right in the middle. Uh-oh. Easy falls down in on the forecheck. Islanders come back into the Rangers zone. Here's Pollock towards the net, broken up by Keandre Miller, and then cleared by VZ with under two minutes remaining on the Kako double minor. Much better start. Much better first period for Keandre Miller. Good play here early in the second period on the penalty kill. Now here's Nelson up the left side. Engvall chasing. Engvall winds it around. Goudreau forces the puck out. Picked up by Trocek. Into the Islander zone. Trocek curls. Stick handling. Now carries back out. And sends it back to his goaltender. And Shesterkin will move it on his right for Truba. As the Rangers kill some time. Now a pass up the middle. Beautiful feed. And the shot wide by Lindgren. Ryan Lindgren on a breakaway on the headband pass from his partner Jacob Truba. How about that? A defenseman well, he, on a breakaway shorthanded. Well, he had just come off on the ice. Uh, changed for, for Miller. Islanders with the puck. Pajot out for Aho. Now Barzell. Back out to Sebastian Aho. Aho cross ice for Horvat. Now to Pajot. A shot saved by Shesterk and a pad save, and he covers. And the Rangers had quality chances on the penalty kill here. And again, I, I, I actually. So Lindgren had come off the bench, right? The Islanders were also making a change. Lindgren goes in and tries to go on the long side on the forehand. Play stops here. Long distance slapper off the stick of Pajot. Who can forget Pajot's four game goal playoff game in 2017 with the Ottawa Senators. It's thwarted there. Rangers control. Puck carried out by VZ. Easy now circles back with it. Drops it off for Truba. Now Lindgren. 45 seconds remaining on the Ranger penalty. Rangers play keep away very effectively. Truba up the left side for Wenberg. Wenberg has it taken away by Aho. Now the Islanders give it right back. Wenberg carries in deep. Behind the Islander net. Surrounded by three Islanders. And now Horvat takes the puck away. Horvat starts ahead with it. We are scoreless, three minutes in, second period. Pass broken up by Vizi. Barzell hit hard by Lindgren. Barzell remains down, and the penalty's coming up against Ryan Lindgren. How? Uh, what? Will they call it boarding? Oh, Looks like God. it. i tell you this. Rangers 55, modern penalty boarding. Now again, Barzell, that's the position Barzell gets himself in. Oh, that's a cross check. Couldn't see what the hit, hit was from the angle we have here, right? So it's a cross check. It's not a board. So that's a legitimate call. Ryan Lindgren leads with the cross check. Barzell's in a vulnerable spot as he's turning. And I think, well, either way, he's going to get a cross check or a board probably. So 
The Rangers here have called it. Uh, the Islanders have called a timeout. No. Uh, Remember, on Tuesday night, Rangers were not happy that the boarding was not called late against Trocek. This yeah. time it is, but certainly did look like a penalty as you Yeah, you, from our angle, we couldn't see the, the cross-check. It was blocked out by, and it looked like it just a firm play by Lindgren on a guy that was turning. But then from another camera angle... And I guess that the call was made by the up ed, uh, official. He called it boarding. The right call would have been cross checking, but he couldn't have seen it either because he had the same angle look that we had. All right, so the Islanders use their timeout. They will have a five on three for 13 seconds. Kako with 13 seconds remaining on his high sticking penalty. Early second period from the Garden. Rangers and Islanders scoreless. That's almost like you're destined to take a penalty when you go in with two hands on the stick, right? If you go in with one hand and make the play, there's a good chance you won't get called. All right, here we go. Fox kicks the puck over to Truba. Fans on the attempted clear. Comes out to Pollock. Far side, Nelson. Down low for Horvat. Back out for Pollock. Now Horvat, Kako out of the box. It's now a five on four. Horvat shot gets blocked. Comes to Barzell. Took a hit from Truba. Battle for the puck. Islanders come away with it. Pajot back out. Down low for Nelson. Turn, shoots. And a right pad save by Shesterkin. Rangers clear. Yeah, well done. Big save by Shesterkin. One shot off the left pad. Out it goes. A minute 20 remaining on the Lindgren minor. Here comes Pollock. In across the line. Pollock tied up. Kreider looks to clear. Held in. Spinning play by Barzell. Cuts to the slot. Barzell now carries down the left side. In the near corner. Barzell still with it. Back out for Pollock. Down to Barzell. Left wing circle. Pollock straight away for Barzell. Barzell into the slot. Shot by Horvat. Missed the net. Nelson plays it far side. Pass. Picked off by Kreider. Kreider joined by Zabanajak. Zabanajak. Down the left wing to the trailer, Snyder walks it in, shoots, save, rebound, score! Braden Snyder short-handed. That time, Zabanajad dropped it off to the trailer, and the Rangers capitalize. And that's exactly right. The puck gets to the middle. It's a really good play inside the blue line by the Rangers to create that and then it's speed. But the most important thing here is Snyder does not turn away from the goal after he puts the first shot on goal. Right, he comes in, he's got all kinds of time and stays right tracking the puck and knocks in the rebound. Braden Schneider on a shorthanded situation. Now again, the puck goes back to him, but if he turns off the first shot, if he turns away, he's cooked. Not cooked. Islanders cooked. Shorthanded goal. The Rangers have a one nothing lead. Ryder started the play. Right. Back at his own blue line. And then to Vatajad, to Snyder. Rangers lead 1-0. It's That's only it. the third shorthanded goal, Dave. Islanders have allowed the fewest in the league. Third they've allowed all season. Boy, I, I'll tell you, they gave up at least three opportunities on the, the previous double minor power play they had. This is a big shift here. Still 40 seconds remaining on the Lindgren penalty. Fox fires the puck down ice. Braden Snyder's fifth goal of the season to give the Rangers a 1-0 lead while shorthanded. Zabanajad and Kreider the assists. Uh-oh. Islanders shoot in. Isn't Nearly that? another Ranger penalty. This one not called. Could have been a trip. How was that not called? Fox clears the puck ahead. Picked off by Riley. Steps around Fox into the Ranger zone. Dropping it back off. Nelson, far side. Shot. Score! So the Islanders come right back. I knew it. Tie it. Engvall on the power play. It was just, if you, that was the importance of just getting through that situation. It was so important for the momentum of this hockey game. And give the Islanders credit. Finding an offside, weak side, Engvall on his forehand. And, 
boy, Shesterkin was just a half a hair late of coming across. Lee gives it to Nelson. Nelson on a cross ice play. And Who'd allow me to let take a look at I it? I tell you, they're looking hard at this. and it, You wonder it, if there was a potential offside. Yeah, you know, that has to be it, right? I mean, they're going to look hard, but you've got to be careful. You know, you've, you've killed up base down to the tag end of six minutes of, of killing penalties. And it looks like the Rangers are going to challenge. Rangers are challenging to play for outside of the blue line. So the Rangers will challenge for a potential offside. You know, we've talked about this the last several years. The video coaches are usually about 95% correct on these. Oh, boy. It looks like Lee is offside in the middle of the ice. From the Now, again, we can't see the puck along the boards, where the puck actually is relative to where Lee is. Boy, he sure looks like he's offside. All right? As we take a look here, the puck comes in on the near boards. You know, again, it it took a while for the Rangers to decide. Boy, it, it sure looks like he's offside. I just don't know where. You know, the one view they're showing is up. It, it's, it's up so high. Maybe it's the off off wing. Yeah. Line's been taking a look at it. Brandon Garlitz and Dan Kelly. Of course, if the success, if the challenge is unsuccessful, put the ball, Rangers back will on the power play, pick up right? another penalty. But the point is, I think that you know, and I knew it. It was just to me that next shift was just crucial to the momentum of the hockey game. Right now, that momentum, crucial moment is this challenge, right? And it's taken the linesman. A while here, although they are now taking the headsets off, we'll inform the officials what the deal is. And again, it's really too hard to tell from what we saw. After review, it was deemed that the player was offside. So the goal taken off the board. It is an offside, so the score remains 1 0 Rangers. Yeah, it takes. Uh, everyone to be a part of a story from a hockey franchise and the Rangers video coaches to the rescue. Kyle Smith, Sam Kelly. Right. Kyle Smith's brother is a video coach for the New York Islanders. Saw he and his brother chatting before the game when I was downstairs. Their father, Derek Smith. Right. Longtime Buffalo Sabre. Saber. Best pals with Jim Schoenfeld up together in the Buffalo organization. So, we're back to 1-0 Rangers. Rangers shoot in. Lindgren now out of the box. Islanders unable to convert on the power play. Here comes Ivanajad cutting wide down the right side. Throws it across. Shot by Kreider. Missed the net. Battle for the puck. Islanders come away with it. Send it to the Ranger line and now Keandre Miller is out of there. Across for Schneider. Who has the game's only goal? Here's Zibanejad into the Islanders zone. Sends far side. Puck moved up the boards. Engvall picks it up. Engvall puts a move on Trocheck. Engvall centering pass kept away from McLean by Schneider. Now Lee in behind the net. McLean met by Miller. Up the boards for Panarin. Wait, we haven't seen Panarin in a while. Right, due to all the Islander power right. plays. They have. Basically six straight minutes of power play time. Or Lafreniere, right? Now Panarin with the puck. Panarin near corner, cuts behind the net. Held up by Ingvall. Lafreniere with it. Out to the point, Gustafson. Now back onto the stick of Lafreniere. Out for Truba. Shot gets blocked in front. Islanders come away with it. Ingvall oh. for Pajo. Pajo shoots in. Puck behind the Ranger goal. Up the boards it comes. Lafreniere. Can't clear. Lee keeps it alive. Lee shot. Missed the net. Puck played along the near boards by Trocek. And now the Rangers will come away with it. Backhanded along by Lafreniere to the skates of Riley. 
Now played by Suzekis. Suzekis for Barzell. Shoots in. Rangers with a shorthanded goal from Braden Schneider. Leading the Islanders 1 0. 13 minutes remaining in the second period. Puck down, knocked out by Suzekis for Barzell. Just inside the line, leaving it for Pollock. Pollock shot deflected wide by Suzekis. Now Suzekis over for the Islanders. Around behind the Ranger net. Puck moved up the boards. Gustafson over for the Rangers. Tied up by Barzell. Gustafson moves it ahead for Lafreniere. And he clears it down into the Islanders' zone. Riley back on it. Cuts away from Cooley. Pass up the left wing to Barzell. Has some room to the left circle. Across for Horvat. Fires wide. That comes around and the Rangers will skate it out. Got, got lucky there. They got caught in a change. Redburn shoots in. Bortuzzo up the boards past Lindgren. Down into the Rangers zone. It's an icing call against the Islanders. I'll tell you, the one thing that gets scary with the Rangers cycling with that Trocheck line is that high cycle with one guy left in the middle of the ice, flat-footed with the puck. And that's what Jake Trupa happened to be that guy. They're like, oh, my God. That is the one part of that whole game where you turn it over there. And we've seen that happen. Face off to the right here, the Islander netminder. Short, short-handed by Braden Snyder. The Rangers lead 1-0. Rangers control. Fox with the puck. Fox, backhand shot, missed the net. Played by Kako in the far corner. Kako spinning with the puck. Around now for Winberg. Out in front, Cooley stopped by Sorokin from close range. Cooley with it again. Shoot, saved by Sorokin. Winberg, over for the Rangers. Around for Kako. Out to Fox. Fox, cross ice for Lindgren. High slot, Kako. Kako now for Winberg. Puts on the brakes. Winberg, back out for Lindgren. Out of Fox. Fox holds. Lindgren straight away. Just inside the line. On his right to Adam Fox. Fox. Now Lindgren. Far corner. Lindgren back out. Off the stick of Kako. And the puck comes out of the zone. Kako with it for the Rangers. Ahead for Fox. Fox. Dropping it back off. Shot by Cooley is blocked. Quick transition by the Islanders. Clutterbuck. Two Rangers back. Islanders make a change. Clutterbuck flicks in. Goodrow works the puck around. Snyder takes a hard hit from McLean. And now VZ on the puck for the Rangers. Who lead 1-0. 11 minutes remaining in the second. Kako floats the puck along. Knocked down by Goudreau. Goudreau winds it around. Aho behind the net. Aho cuts to his left. Feeds McLean. Clears to center. Snyder on it for the Rangers. Up the middle for VZ. And now back for Keandre Miller. Up the right side. Goudreau shoots in. Stop behind the net by Sorokin. Leaves it there. Big hit, a couple of Rangers, including Rempe. <laughs> Rempe and Goodrill with the big hit on Romanov as Aho plays the puck now for the Islanders. Across for Romanov. I think the boards are still shaking. <laughs> Pass up the middle, too far. Chased down by Roslovic. Carries in behind the net. Roslovic, centering pass, broken up. Now played by Zavanajak. Zavanajak out for Gustafson. Breaks the stick, or at least the fan on it. Maybe he did not break the stick. Fan on the shot attempt. Took the rubber stick instead of the regular one. Yep. Now the pass gusted, picked off by Lee. Islanders stay on side. Lee for Engvall, shoot, saved by Shesterkin. And he will hold with 9.51 remaining. In the second, Rangers lead 1-0. You're listening to Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. When your team's best players have all been traded And the latest pick is overrated Just raise a glass with a friend or two And tell them more, tell them more, tell them more do May your team be great and your picks be true And if it falls apart, you'll know what to do Just raise a glass with a fan or two And tell them more, tell them more, tell them more do It's a crazy world, so what do you do? You tell them more, tell them more, tell them more do Tullamore Jew Irish Whiskey, 40% alcohol, William Grant & Sons, Inc., New York. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. 
To win the cup, everything needs to line up perfectly. No different than finding the person you want to marry. When the time comes to propose, do what I did. Visit the engagement experts at London Jewelers. They'll make shopping for a ring easy. Let them help you pick or design the perfect ring to fit any budget from their 2 by London collection. London Jewelers is committed to getting it just right. So visit London Jewelers today at any of their seven locations, including the newest location at the mall at Short Hills. Mention I told you to stop by and you'll get the Michael K. treatment. Let's pause 10 seconds to allow stations to identify themselves on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. This is your radio home for New York Rangers hockey. This is 98.7 ESPN, WEPN-FM, New York. Rangers lead 1-0. Kenny Albert, Dave Maloney, who is one of three former Ranger captains up here on the Chase Bridge. General Manager Chris Drury to our left. And Ryan Callahan, to our right, doing the ABC telecast. Wow. A lot of leadership in the house today. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, a lot of times that captain plays a big, big role, despite what some people may think. We have a lot of leadership up here this afternoon, <laughs> surrounded by Ranger captains I'll everywhere. tell you, one of the greatest all-time captains, which was in the city of Philadelphia, Bob Clark, i tell you. A lot of people forget just what a great player Clark was for the Flyers. Yep, those back-to-back -back cups. Yeah, Mark Messier in the studio today working the broadcast. Yep. Off the face-off, Rangers come away with it. Skating left to right. Here's the advantage at on the right side for Trocek. Moves the puck in deep. Pollock up the boards. Kept in by Zibanejad. Fires it around. And now the Islanders come out. Anders Lee, lead pass, Engvall moves in, shoots, pad save by Shesterkin. Lee keeps it alive into the corner for Pajo. Now Pelic, Pelic, long shot deflected by Lee. Does not get through. Engvall with it for the Islanders. Knock out, puck comes out of the zone. Pollock could not keep it in. So the Islanders reset. Puck deflected by Lee back into the Rangers zone. Retrieved by Eric Gustafson. Gustafson across to the current captain, Jacob Truba. Now Panarin. Panarin up for Rempe. He could not control. Nelson moves it ahead for the Islanders. Sends far corner. Fox lets it go through to Truba, and he clears. Here come the Rangers. Panarin. Panarin out with Trocek and Rempe. Trocek in with a shot. Save. Rempe looking for the rebound. Winds up behind the net. And the Islanders will come out with it. How about that line? Panarin, Trocek, Rempe. I think it's just caught in the change, right? Although, there's some who are thinking that, you know what, put Rempe up with Zibanejad and Kreider. Islanders move in. Here's Palmieri shoots. That's blocked. Sent towards the net. Save, and then they score. It bounces in off Shesterk, and he made the initial stop. And now the Islanders tie the game at one. Yeah, I can't think about that uh, thought from Marty St. Louis. They, they compete hard in small areas of the ice, and that's exactly what happens here. And it looks like Nelson's going to get credit for tying this hockey game at the 8-18 mark of this middle period. The puck ranges. There's an inadvertent block by Adam Fox that I think kind of stings him a little bit. And uh, the Islanders go to work. Chip it down low, back, off the side of Fox. Fox doesn't kind of react. Again, I think he's stung by the little and can't get back into position. It bounces off. Oh, goodness. It bounces off the left skate of Shesterkin, who's on his backside, basically, up in the air, and he just misses it with his stick. So, we're tied at one. 31st of the season for Brock Nelson. Rangers shoot in. Pollock on the puck for the Islanders. Sends to center. Kako with it for the Rangers. Lost it. Islanders move the puck ahead for Horvat. Braden Schneider with the Ranger goal shorthanded. At 4.33 of the second period, time of the goal driven by Ramsey Mazda. It's the experience of driving a new Mazda and buying a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda and then Nelson at 11.42. Here come the Rangers. Schneider for Kako. Carries down the right side. Lead on by Barzell. Puck taken away by Pellick. Islanders clear the zone. And now Schneider ahead for Cooley. Cooley shoots in. As both teams make changes. 
Islanders move the puck ahead. Blocked off by Chris Kreider. Played by Romanov. Roslovic all over him. Now it's Pajot for the Islanders. 7-11 to go. Here in period two. Shoots in. Engvall, first one there. Pushed off by Truba. Now Roslovic with the puck. Fours of Adijad. Puck deflected out of play up over the Ranger bench and into the third row with 7.02 remaining. Second period. It's the Rangers 1 and the Islanders 1. Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. All right, so there we were, cruising through the new open-air zoo, when I realized that the park was closing in like 15 minutes. That's when the afternoon took an exciting turn. Luckily, we were in my Nissan Rogue with its powerful, DC turbo engine? Well, we had more than enough time to see all the animals. Whoa! <laughs> and I'll run a few! Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low $329 per month lease for 36 months on the 2024 Nissan Rogue. Shop at your local Nissan store or at NissanUSA.com. Well-qualified lessees. 2024 Rogue S all-wheel drive. $34.89 initial payment excludes tax, title, license, and $695 acquisition fee. Disposition fee due at lease end. Take from new dealer stock. Call 1-888-858-8319 for offer details. Ends 4-30-24. Tito's Handmade Vodka on game day? Pour me in, coach. From a seat in the stands to the best seat on the couch, root for your favorite team with your favorite team spirit. No matter who's on your roster, lineup, or lucky jersey, make Tito's your first round bottle pick. Whose house? Tito's house. Find cocktail recipes for every fan at titosvodka.com. 40% alcohol by volume, namely 80 proof, crafted to be savored responsibly. Back in the garden, tied at one. Contact your local Tri Honda dealer for a great deal today. Michael J. Fox in the house here this afternoon in the Rangers Islanders game. Acknowledged on the big board. Face off here with 7.02 left in the neutral zone in front of the Rangers bench as the Rangers skate left to right. 1 1 hockey game. Both goals scored here in the second period. The good news is the Rangers scored a shorthanded goal. The bad news is the Rangers continue to be on the minus side of five on five play. Coming in in the last 10 games, the last two games, minus seven five on five. Minus one here, five on five this afternoon. So that's minus one on the season. Yes, yes. 164, 163 during five on five play. Rangers have been outscored by one. The other goal, Nelson from Palmieri and Fashing at 11.42. There's Roslovic in on the right side. for Zabanajad shot through the crease. Lindgren steps up towards the net. Covered up by Sorokin. I think this goes off the right skate of Chris Kreider, but he's right on top of Sorokin, so it's an easy save by Sorokin. Ryan Lindgren from the far corner just throws it basically laterally to the net, and it goes off of Kreider's foot into Shesterkin. The Rangers bring out the Trocheck line. Rangers kill off, well, killed off 10, you know, basically six minutes of uh, Islander power play in the first, into the second. Get a shorty out of all that. And give up one here. They're tied at one off. Off the draw. Panarin with the puck for the Rangers. Towers in behind the Islander net. Moves the puck up the boards. Lee over for the Islanders. He clears. Procheck. Shoots back in. Knocked down by Anders Lee. Lee to the red line. Wrist the puck around. Pajot, right wing boards. Flips into the corner for Inkball. Around behind for Anders Lee. Lee stick handling. Back up the boards for Riley. Riley moves it back around behind the net. Pajot on it there. Pajot carries back out. Leaving it for Riley. Riley to the right circle. Moves in. Shoots off the glove. Loves to Sturkin. Six minutes to go in the period. Puck chipped ahead for Lafreniere. Lafreniere into the Islander zone. Lafreniere has the puck stripped. Riley ahead for Engvall. And now carried out by Horvat. Moving in with a shot. That gets blocked. Now Sazika shoots. It goes wide. Lafreniere over for the Rangers. Looks to clear. Held in by Sazikas. 
Moves in behind the net. Fox tied up. Up the boards for Panarin. And Panarin will clear the zone. Here's Trocek. Sending it ahead. Chasing. Trocek and Romanov in a collision. Puck comes around. Held in by Vizi. To the left circle. Shoots. The flex wide. Rempe setting up in front. Now Snyder. Around behind for Rempe. Off his stick. Rempe angled off by Barzell. Now Bortuzzo comes over. Gives it away. Rangers keep it alive. Good throw. Moves it along. Rempe in the corner. Bends off the check attempt from Romanov. Around behind the net. For Vizi. Tough angle shot. Saved by Sorokin. Vizi with it once again. Cuts away for Bortuzzo. Moves it back out. Rangers could not keep it in the zone. Miller back on it. With five minutes remaining in the second, tied at one. Up the right side for Goodrow. Goodrow falls down, lost an edge. Puck behind the Islander net. Bortuzzo lifts it ahead. Dumps to Braden Snyder. Now back out for Vizi. Vizi puts on the brakes. Out to the point. Goodrow shot blocked by Bortuzzo. Goodrow moves it into the corner for Rempe. Rempe and Romanov. Rempe sends far side for Jimmy Vizi. Keeps it away from Barzell. Long shift in the Islander zone for the Rangers. Snyder across for Miller. A shot blocked in front by Bortuzzo. Can't clear. Held in by Snyder. Now back out for BG. Give and go. Here's Snyder. Shoot. Save with Rempe setting the screen in front. A glove save and Sorokin holds on to it. I'll tell you, Braden Snyder is a great partner for Keandre Miller. They played both of them. Uh, Truman's been better. Miller's been better split up here this afternoon. So, 4.17 left. 1-1 Rangers Islanders on game number 81 of the 23-24 season. You're listening to New York Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. Ranger fans, when deciding to take a charter bus, there is only one choice. That's Best Trails and Travel, New York City's premier charter bus company. Best Trails and Travel have the highest level of charter bus service in New York City and has been serving New York's leading corporations, professional sports teams, and private individuals for over 25 years. They offer premier customer service and the newest fleet of buses in the industry. Whether you're traveling with family, friends, or colleagues, Best Trails and Travel guarantees you the ultimate traveling experience. Visit them at besttrailstravel.com or call 212-206-6974. 30 for 30. 30 for 30, 30 for 30, come get some. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Security Dodge's 30 for 30 sale. You can take up to 30% off MSRP during the next 30 days on brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee, four by E's, Gladiators, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, all up to 30% off MSRP. Come get some. Shop 24-7 at securitydodge.com during our Jeep celebration event. Many legendary stories have graced the ice with the New York Rangers play. Tales of triumph, tribulation, and above all, comebacks. Rangers win! The New York Rangers know a thing or two about comebacks. Mucinex makes them happen every day, especially with new Mucinex kickstarts all in one and done relief with a morning jolt of instant cooling sensation. And with Mucinex being an official sponsor of the Rangers, you could say coming together in the name of comebacks was only destiny. Visit Mucinex.com. It's not cold and flu season, it's comeback season. Use as directed. Out of town scoreboard brought to you by Best Trails and Travel. Everything else later today, but so many important games around the National Hockey League. Out of town scoreboard brought to you by Best Trails and Travel, New York City's premier charter bus company. Visit them today for the ultimate travel experience at besttrailstravel.com. Face off to the left of Igor Shester uh, I'm sorry, Igor Shesterkin's best pal, Ilya <laughs> Sorokin, netminder for the New York Islanders. Can you imagine back in the day if J.D. and Billy Smith were best friends? <laughs> no. <laughs> Face off now to the left of Sorokin. Rangers control. Shot by Miller. Gloved by the aforementioned Sorokin. He hangs on to it. Right. Again, a guy who was a Vesna finalist a year ago and hasn't been quite the same goaltender, but still a little bit like Shesterkin's season. You know, a little bit of hot and cold. Ball start here on the faceoff. And Varlamov has played very well. Yeah. He and Patrick Waugh were together in Colorado earlier in Varlamov's career. 18-12-4, mm -hmm. and four, the Islanders' record since Waugh took over for Lane Lambert. Off the draw. Islanders move the puck ahead. Snyder back to pick it up. Snyder mounted by McLean. Snyder able to work the puck on back for Miller. Under four to play in the period. 
tied at one. Here comes Kako. Moving left to right into the Islander zone. Stick handling along the boards for Cooley. Hit by Clutterbuck. McLean on the puck now for the Islanders. Shoots in. Snyder back on it. Islanders go for a change. Here come the Rangers. Snyder for Miller. Up the left side. Puck deflects into the stands. Yep, somebody better be paying attention. That puck went way up there. In the meantime, it was a firm pass by Miller and a deflected attempt to keep it into the deep of the Islanders' end of the ice. Goes deep into the stands. As a result, the faceoff will be on the dot right in front of the Ranger bench on the Islanders' side of the red line here in the second period. 3.34 left in that second period, Kenny. Rangers control. Trouble with the puck. Cross ice. Gustafson shoots in. Puck caroms around. Rothlevick in for the Rangers. Sent back out to the right point for Truba. Over to the left. Shot by Gustafson. Deflects wide. Rothlevick setting up in front. Puck now deep in the Islander zone. Riley up the boards. Fashing. Gets to clear. Held in by the Rangers. Now Zabanajad chasing behind the Islander net. Zabanajad back out for Gustafson. Near side, Truba moves in, shoots, knocked down by Sorokin, a chest save, and the Islanders clear the puck out. Now to three minutes remaining in the period, here's Zibanejad. Back out, Roslovic off his stick. Roslovic keeps it alive, moves it into the corner for Zibanejad, winds it around. Ryder back the other way, Zibanejad in front, picked off. And the Islanders will clear the puck ahead. Palmieri unable to get it deep, now Nelson does just that. Back to play, it is Panarin. Two and a half remaining in the second. Tied at one. Kenny Albert, Dave Maloney. From Madison Square Garden. Pass was behind Trocek. Flipped ahead by Romanov. Now Truba. Onto the stick of Panarin. Up the left wing, Lafreniere. Sends in, held up by Ajo. Pajot back to get it for the Islanders. Ahead for Sebastian Ajo. Slides it across to Romanov. Romanov with speed to the red line, to the Ranger line. Moves the puck in. Right side and Shesterkin. Lindgren back on it. Lindgren for Panarin. Nice play by Shesterkin, right? To help out Lindgren a little bit. Puck now in the Islander zone. Battle along the boards. Engball looks to clear. Held in by the Rangers. Now Romanoff with it. Down to a minute 45 as Pajot circles back with the puck. Shots 23-18 Rangers in a 1-1 game. Snyder shorthanded and then Nelson... Both goals coming in the second period here at Madison Square Garden. Ajo plays the puck at center. Backhands along. Down to 90 seconds remaining. Box. Cross ice. Lindgren. And then the return. We hear the name of the former Islander defenseman now from the crowd. <laughs> Speaking of captains. And now the let's go Rangers chance begin. Here comes Barzell. Into the Rangers zone. On the left for Sezikis. Moves it and shoots. It goes wide. Puck carries all the way down. Back into the Islander end. Pull on. Wants to pick it up. Final middle of the period. Pellick sends the puck around. Held in at the right point by Snyder. Taken away by Horvat. Down the left wing. Crisscrossing with Fashing. Horvat holds. Then shoots. Blocked in front by the stick of Miller. Miller moves the puck down. Did not connect with a teammate. This will be an icing call against the Rangers. Boy, the Rangers have been much, much better picking up late, man, and protecting the slot here as this game has gone along. Face off as a result of a just a misconnection. Outlook pass through the middle. This is Jimmy Vesey. Face off to the right of Shesterkin. 41 and 9 tenths seconds remaining. Off the draw, Palmieri shot. Blocked it aside by Shesterkin. Snyder to the puck. Batley deep in the Rangers zone. Taken away by Fashing. Now in the near corner, it's Palmieri. Fashing on it through the crease. Score! Nelson! Fashing set the puck through the crease, and Nelson was in the right spot at the right time. Scores his second of the period, and the Islanders lead 2-1. to one. Well, it's another down-low battle that both um, Schneider and Miller do a, a, a good job, just not good enough. They get out being out on the puck, and Fashing throws a hit-and-hope pass, no question, through the crease, right under the stick of Nelson, right? But it's a, it's a battle. It's a two-on-two, one-on-one sort of deal, and 
Wow, that is just, again, Islander hockey. Down low, don't quit on a one-on-one -on -one battle. Throw it to an area where you hope somebody's there. Nelson's there, and it's a 2-1 Islander lead. Well, the second period has traditionally been a bit of an Achilles heel for this Islander team. Not so far here this afternoon. They've outscored the Rangers 2-1. Off the draw. Rangers shoot in. Zibanejad to the puck. Zibanejad slides it across. Gustafson through the crease wide. Now fashing on it for the Islanders. Out to Paul Mary. Lifts the puck along with eight seconds. Time winding down. Pollock keeps it in. Shoots. Blocked by his own man, Paul Mary. Out of the zone it comes, and that will do it. So Brock Nelson with his second of the period late. The Islanders take a 2-1 to -one lead into the locker room after 40 minutes. And the Rangers look like they're going to outshoot the Islanders 10-9 here in the second period as both teams re uh, head to their respective locker rooms. But, you know, again, it's just it, it, the, the battle was pretty well fought by both Schneider and Miller. They just ended up losing possession of the puck. Uh, for the Islanders go ahead goal here late in the second period so the Rangers will regroup as will their opponent the Islanders the Islanders have a 2-1 lead after 40 minutes kidding Snyder shorthanded Nelson with two for the Islanders scores at 1932 of the second period from Fashing and Palmieri second assist for both Hudson Fashing and Kyle Palmieri. So a 2-1 Islanders lead. After 40 minutes, Don LaGreca will take you through the second intermission. You're listening to Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. White Claw fans, introducing new White Claw Vodka Plus Soda, triple wave filtered vodka plus real juice. White Claw invented a unique process to make superior, smoother vodka. The first triple wave filtered vodka, blended with real fruit juice and sparkling water to deliver a vodka plus soda of unparalleled refreshment and taste. With four fruit forward flavors, pineapple, peach, wild cherry, and watermelon. Enjoy a White Claw Vodka Plus Soda today. Available at your local New York or New Jersey retail store. 100 calories, 4.5% alcohol volume, no added sugar, gluten free. The Honda you want is here. Now is the perfect time to drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Passport or Ridgeline and a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Pilot. Contact your local Honda dealer for a great deal today. See dealer for financing details. Attention hockey fans, let's talk winning off the ice. Thrive Well Infusion specializes in delivering cutting-edge infusion therapies for rare diseases and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. At Thrive Well, patients receive care, comfort, convenience, and compassion so they can get back to cheering for their favorite teams. From New York to New Jersey and across Long Island, Thrive Well offers private, state-of-the-art infusion suites along with breakaway treatment from their highly trained medical team. Find out more at thrivewellinfusion.com. Thrive Well. Saving lives drip by drip. This is the Spectrum New York Rangers Intermission Report. Now here's Don LaGreca on the MSG Radio Network. Second period's been kind to the Rangers this year. Not so much to the Islanders, but a role reversal here in the second as the Islanders get two of the three goals in the period, have a 2-1 to one lead after 40 minutes of play. This is the Rangers' second intermission report, and it's brought to you by Spectrum One. Let's recap it. Rangers get a shorthanded goal from Braden Schneider, his fifth of the year from Zabanajad and Kreider at 433. Lindgren was in the box for a boarding penalty at 319. This was at the tail end of that double minor by Kako at the end of the first period that actually resulted in a 13-second five-on-three for the Islanders when Lindgren took the penalty. And while 
Kako came out of the box and it was just Lindgren serving the penalty. The Rangers had some great opportunities shorthanded, and they cash in on one of those opportunities to take a one to nothing lead. But then on that ensuing power play with Lindgren still in the box, it looked like Brock Nelson had scored the tie of the game, but it was taken off the board as the Rangers would review it for offside, and they won the challenge, so it stayed one to nothing. But Brock Nelson would get his revenge as he would score the two goals for the Islanders in the second half of that second period. Nelson is 31st from Paul Marion, fashing at 11.42 would tie the game. And then at the tail end of the period, Nelson's 32nd from Fashing and Paul Mary at 19.32 would give the Islanders their first lead of the game, which is a great play by Fashing, side of the net, backhand, just threw it to the wing where Nelson was waiting and then poked it home for his second goal. He could have a hat trick if not for the one that was really erased on the challenge earlier in the period. So the Islanders have the 2-1 to lead. Rangers outshot the Islanders in the second period, 10-9, of a 23-20 edge through 40 minutes of play. But the Islanders with a big second period, as I said, very rare for them. They came in a minus 25 of the second period so far this year, but they come up big here to take the 2-1 to one lead. Rangers have lost two in a row in regulation, and in both of those games, they did not score even strength, and their only goal here so far against the Islanders today came shorthanded, so the Rangers continue to struggle 5-on-5, five five, now minus one overall on the season, even strength. Your place for the playoffs, we want you to make sure you have everything you need to be the best blue shirt fan possible during the playoffs, head to NewYorkRangers.com slash playoffs to stay up to speed on all of the action. When we come back, we're going to hear from Peter Laviolette, get more on the situation with Philip Heedle. He practiced on Friday, and speculation he might be ready for the postseason. So we'll hear from Peter in a bit. We'll go over the schedule for later on today, a lot of important games in the National Hockey League, and then we'll drop the puck for the third period at the Garden where the Islanders have a 2-1 lead on the Rangers after 40 minutes of play. New York Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. The pickleball craze is real. It's fun, social, and friendly. So whether you're new to pickleball or a seasoned vet, up your game at Pickleball America in the Stanford Town Center Mall. It's one of the largest indoor pickleball venues in the U.S. with top-notch facilities, expert instructors, and the flexibility to host social and corporate events. Join the pickleball community today at Pickleball America in Stanford. Visit pickleballamerica.us or just drop in. Pickleball America is open seven days per week. Attention hockey fans, let's talk winning off the ice. Thrive Well Infusion specializes in delivering cutting-edge infusion therapies for rare diseases and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. At Thrive Well, patients receive care, comfort, convenience, and compassion so they can get back to cheering for their favorite teams. From New York to New Jersey and across Long Island, Thrive Well offers private, state-of-the-art infusion suites along with breakaway treatment from their highly trained medical team. Find out more at thrivewellinfusion.com. Thrive well, saving lives drip by drip. New York Presbyterian gives you the health care choices you want. Like over 450 locations in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and Westchester. Virtual care that lets you connect with us digitally. World-class doctors from Columbia and Wild Cornell Medicine. And Health Matters, an online source for the latest health and wellness topics and tips. Experience extraordinary health care when and where you need it. Stay amazing. New York Presbyterian. Restrictions apply. All right, so there we were, cruising through the new open-air zoo, when I realized that the park was closing in like 15 minutes. That's when the afternoon took an exciting turn. Luckily, we were in my Nissan Rogue. With its powerful DC turbo engine, well, we had more than enough time to see all the animals. Whoa! <laughs> and outrun a few! Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low $329 per month lease for 36 months on the 2024 Nissan Rogue. Shop at your local Nissan store or at NissanUSA.com. Well-qualified lessees. 2024 Rogue S all-wheel drive. $34.89 initial payment excludes tax, title, license, and $695 acquisition fee. Disposition fee due at lease end. Take from new dealer stock. Call 1-888-858-8319 for offer details. Ends 4-30-24. 
Hey, New Yorkers, tonight's hockey is presented by Heineken Silver. New Heineken Silver is a world-class light beer with only 2.9 carbs and just 95 calories. Choosing a light beer usually means sacrificing on taste or quality. But with Heineken Silver, say goodbye to compromise. Heineken Silver has all the taste with no bitter endings. So this spring and throughout the playoffs, grab a surprisingly crisp and refreshing Heineken Silver. Taste the difference. Available at your local Heineken retailer or for delivery at Heineken.com forward slash silver. Must be 21 plus to purchase. Enjoy Heineken responsibly. Welcome back to the Rangers' second intermission report. Islanders have a 2-1 lead on the blue shirts after 40 minutes of play. A lot of eyebrows were raised yesterday when Philip Heedle entered the practice ice for the New York Rangers. He has been on long-time IR, out for the rest of the regular season, has not played since November 2nd, had a setback on January 26th, and it looked like we wouldn't see Philip Heedle until next year. But now the speculation arises with him back at practice that maybe he could be ready for the postseason. Peter spoke after practice yesterday. What's the reaction to seeing Philip Heedle participating in practice? It's great. Looks great. And it's great to have him back out there. Like, you know, he looks um, like he had a lot of fun out there today, and it was nice to have him back. Peter, when did Heedle returning become a possibility? Well, I mean, it hasn't been a good chunk of the season. And so um, he's at a point where he's been training, and, you know, he's now back and able to come back and join us. And like I said, he looks good out there, so there's no timetable on Phil at all. We're not going to rush him back. And whenever he feels and the eyes on him feel and the powers that be feel that he's in a good spot, that's a different story. But right now there's absolutely no timetable. And he says he wants Heedle practicing despite not yet being ready to play. This player is coming back from something that's substantial. He has not been on the ice with us, and we want to make sure that he is fit and ready to play and ready to have a positive impact in the game. So, you know, the fact that he's back doesn't necessarily mean he's ready for a game. He's ready to practice, but it, like I said, there's no timetable on this. He's been out for an extended period of time. You guys know that. So, Peter, what could Heedle possibly coming back do for this team? Without having any idea when that might be at all, the fact that he's back, he's a very good player for us. And it gives us, uh, I think, more depth and more options. But, you know, you're talking one of our top-rated players with the possibility of coming back at some point. And, Peter, what's this been like for Heedle? He'd probably talk better about that than me. I know that when players are out, they go through a process to try and work their way back. And, you know, when they get back, is there's been a long road behind them. And I think they're happy to go out and enjoy just a, a day like today where you get to be out with your teammates and compete. And, you know, you feel good about it. And, and that's where he's at. So no timetable. Playoffs do not start until a week from today. So I guess things are very positive moving forward, and the fact that he's back on the ice is huge. But as he said, no timetable for the return, but tons of speculation that Philip Heedle could be a part of this team's run in the playoffs. Let's take a look at what's on tap here in the National Hockey League. Uh, the rest of today at 3 o'clock, the Kraken will be in Dallas to take on the Stars. Stars atop the Central Division and the Western Conference with 109 points, starting at the day one point back of the Rangers in the race for the President's Trophy. At 4 o'clock, the Jets will be in Colorado to take on the Avalanche at 5. Sabres and Panthers from Florida, while the Flyers, trying to keep their slim playoff hopes alive, will play host to the New Jersey Devils. Philadelphia's problem is they're a point out of a playoff spot, but only have two games remaining, while the teams they're chasing after have three. At 5.30, the Lightning will be in Washington to take on the Capitals. Capitals one of those teams trying to make the playoffs. We'll give you the standings in just a second. At 7, Senators host the Canadiens, while the Red Wings will be in Toronto to take on the Maple Leafs. At 8 o'clock, the Predators welcome in the Columbus Blue Jackets. At 8 o'clock, the Bruins will be in Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins. Penguins, one of those teams in the East, trying to make the playoffs. At 10 o'clock, the Oilers and the Canucks from Edmonton. At 10.30, the Ducks will be at the Los Angeles Kings, while the Wild will be in San Jose to take on the Sharks. So, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings as the Islanders have the lead here going into the third period. They've got 89 points. They're in good shape trying to solidify third place in the Metropolitan Division. They've got two games after today to be able to add to that. So right now it's about the wild card. Pittsburgh starts the day, 79 games played, 86 points. They've got the last wild card. The Capitals are a point back with the same amount of games played. Detroit also a point back, 79 games played. We mentioned Philadelphia is a point back, but they've played 80 games. As far as tiebreakers are concerned, Pittsburgh's in good shape there as well. They've got 31 regulation victories. So with Washington with 29, Detroit 27. So Detroit cannot 
win a tiebreaker with Pittsburgh, so they'd have to beat the Penguins outright. So, in effect, they're two back of Pittsburgh, but still a little bit of hockey still left to be played. Should be fun down the stretch. As far as the Western Conference is concerned, we have our eight teams. St. Louis was eliminated from playoff contention last night with their loss to Carolina, so really only positioning there in the Western Conference, but those eight seeds are all done. This is what's on tap for the third period, brought to you by New Heineken Silver. While the Islanders, when leading after two periods of play, are 27-1-7, and seven. so only once have they not come away with points when leading after two periods of play. As for the, Islanders, uh, as for the Rangers, they are 9-18-1 when trailing after two. That was what's on tap, brought to you by New Heineken Silver, world-class light beer with only 2.9 carbs and 95 calories. Heineken has all the taste with no bitter endings, available at your local Heineken retailer or for delivery at heineken.com slash silver. Well, that'll do it for the Rangers Second Intermission Report, brought to you by Spectrum One. Get Spectrum One with fast and reliable internet for $39.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and unlimited mobile line, plus free, both free, with for 12 months restrictions apply visit spectrum.com for details i'll talk to you again in the post game show but coming after these messages kenny albert and dave maloney with a call the third period from the garden islanders two and the rangers one you're listening to rangers hockey on espn new york and the msg radio network this has been the spectrum new york rangers intermission report blue shirts hockey is next Get more in a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. More selection, over 750 new vehicles available, and more savings on their entire Mazda lineup. Like the new 2024 Mazda CX-30 2.5S all-wheel drive, lease for just $199 a month at Ramsey Mazda. Route 17 North in Ramsey. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. Call 888-885-2891 for lease details. Excludes tax, title, and registration. Zero security deposit. VIN RM667991. MSRP 26445 and 430 the Stanley Cup Playoffs Bracket Challenge presented by Betway is back. And now it's time to take your shot. Face off against family and friends. And take aim at predicting this year's playoffs. Whether you're pulling for the Panthers, going big on the blue shirts, or seeing stars all the way, who do you think hoists the cup this year? Sign up today for a chance to win exclusive prizes at NHL.com slash bracket. Tito's Handmade Vodka on game day? Pour me in, coach. From a seat in the stands to the best seat on the couch, root for your favorite team with your favorite team spirit. No matter who's on your roster, lineup, or lucky jersey, make Tito's your first round bottle pick. Whose house? Tito's house. Find cocktail recipes for every fan at titosvodka.com. 40% alcohol by volume. Namely, 80 proof, crafted to be savored responsibly. Back at Madison Square Garden, Kenny Albert, Dave Valoni. We get set for the third period. Islanders now leading the Rangers 2-1. to one. Brock Nelson with a pair of goals. Less than eight minutes apart. Palmieri and Fashing assisting on both. After Schneider gave the Rangers the lead with a shorthanded goal. Third period puck drop is brought to you by Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Because when it's game time, it's Tully time. Tullamore Dew, the original triple distilled, triple blended, and triple cask matured Irish whiskey. Be sure to grab a Tullamore Dew or try the brand new Tullamore Dew Honey during today, today's action. Glasses up to enjoying Tullamore Dew responsibly. Three for three. Got to change the luck here, though, Kenny. Might have to have you uh, read it from here on until our luck changes. You got to get back on the winning snide, winning, not snide, whatever that's called. Track. Winning, track. There you go. Right. All right. I may have to read it on Monday. You, yeah, you may have to read it on Monday. But well, here's that, that would that would disappoint a lot of our listeners. Sorokin <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll to our it. left. Sorokin to the right. Brock Nelson and Mika Zibanejad. We'll take the opening face-off. They both lead their respective teams with five shots on goal today. And Mika's had a good afternoon. He's been quick. He's been quick to the puck. He's got an assist. It's fifth consecutive game with at least a point. Now the Rangers actually make a change. Kreider, Zibanejad, and Roslovic were on the ice getting set. And now they head to the bench. And Panarin, Trocek, and Lafreniere come on. 
And it's a national game on ABC this afternoon, so we're at the beck and call of the network and their timing. Playoffs will begin by all accounts a week from today. There's a debate as to a lot of things. As to what when the Rangers will open. I suppose it's predicated largely on who they're going to play and sounds like the Knicks might be in town that weekend. So A lot depends on arena availability, right, right. network schedules, etc. All right, here we go. Third period is underway. Rangers control. Schneider up the right side. Puck deflected in. Pollock on it for the Islanders. Moves it up the right wing boards and down. It's an icing call against the Islanders. 17 seconds in. Yeah, good. Yeah, good uh, look or reaction by Miller to pinch down. He sees Pollock picks the puck up in the far corner, and everybody in the building knows he's coming around. Miller pinches down, but a better job by Paul Mary. Paul Mary just in the way now. It's an icing, but face off here to the left. Yep, down the net might be. Rangers win it. Puck comes out to the right side. Shot by Miller. Misses the net. Loose along the boards. Lafreniere sends to the corner. Bouncing puck. Now Pellick with it. Pellick up the left side and out. Miller able to shovel the puck back to Schneider. Now Panarin on the left side. Back for Miller. Shoots in. Now the Rangers will go for a change. Opening minute. Third period from the Garden. Islanders leading the Rangers 2-1. to one. A lot of ramifications on both sides in the standings. Rangers will have one game left following this one. One point ahead of Carolina. Rangers still lead the entire league in points. Now Fox back at his own line. Ahead for Kako. And then the return for Fox. Cross ice. Lindgren up the right side. Kako into the Islander zone. Kako drifting to his right. Now shoots. It's blocked by Romanov. Comes back to Kako. Out to the right side, Fox. Fox shoots. That does not make it through. Sezikis to the loose puck. Looks to clear, and he does. Hops over the stick of Lindgren. And now the Rangers back in possession. Fox up the left wing for Cooley. Cooley sends the puck around. Wenberg, far corner. Leaving it for Kako. Now the return for Wenberg. Pressed behind the net by Romanov. Cooley comes in. Rangers keep it alive. Sent out to the left side for a shot by Gustafson. Misses the net. Cooley chasing down to the far corner. Back out to the right point. Now to the left side, Gustafson. Gustafson shoots. Deflected. Saved by Sorokin. Comes back out to the right side, Truba. Left side, Gustafson to the circle shot. Blocked by Sezikis. Held in by the Rangers, Wenberg. Long shift in the Islander zone. Two minutes gone by here in the third. Now Pajo tied up by Wenberg. Romanov comes in. Aho to the loose puck. And now the Islanders skate it out. Here's Barzell. Barzell backhands down. Knocked out of the air by Gustafson. And Gustafson leaves it for Truba. Rangers trailing 2-1. to one. Puck deflected in by Kreider. Stop behind the net by Sorokin. He will move it up the boards. Battle for the puck. And the Islanders now clear the zone. Loose at center. Rangers jump back on it. Zibanejad knocked away by Bortuzzo. Puck played by Kreider. Back to Schneider. Up the middle. Here's Zibanejad. Four Islanders back. Leaving it for Roslovic. Roslovic shot. Stick save by Sorokin. Puck picked up by McLean. And he ripped out of the air by Keandre Miller. Dropping it back off for Zibanejad. Here's side Miller. Around behind for Roslovic. Out to the right point, Schneider. Left side, Kreider. Moves it into the corners of Adijak. Now Bortuzzo. Flips it off long for Martin. And Matt Martin will lift the puck down ice. My suspicions are the consistent part of your call is going to be that shot didn't get through. <laughs> the Islanders just clog up the middle of the ice in the defensive zone. Puck now back behind the Ranger net. As Miller holds, now starts ahead with it. Rangers skating right to left here in the third. Rempe shoots in. Puck chased by Pellick. Here comes Rempe. Pellick sort of stepped out of the way. May have caught part of his shoulder. Goodrow winds the puck around. Now Vizi and Pellick. Vizi 
Dips it into the corner. Pollock must have been so excited to see that it was only Beasy that time <laughs> and not Rempe. There's Fashing to center. He shoots in. Puck behind the net. Shesterkin moves it up the left side for Lindgren. Four minutes gone by in the third. Two to one Islanders. Here's Panarin resting the puck around. Kuzikis ahead for Horvat. Horvat up the boards. Kept in by Panarin. Now for Lafreniere. Centering pass broken up by Ajo. And then a, another shot blocked. And then Sorokin able to make the save on Trocek on the rebound attempt. And Sorokin covers. And now some sticks and gloves come up. I'll tell you, that's Sorokin's best save that he's had to make in, you know, the better, in, for sure in this third period. This thing gets back in the prime shooting area on a good setup by the Rangers here in the offensive zone. And Sorokin makes a really, really good save here off of Panarin. So the Rangers, again, the third period on Thursday night were a dominant team at UBS Arena, but couldn't crack the code. And that was Varlamov. Sorokin has been pretty good here in the third. 15-34 left in the third period. The Rangers trail by one, Kenny. Rangers out shooting the Islanders 4-0 here in the third period. Rangers control. Here's Fox. Shoots. And a blocker saved by Sorokin. Picked up by Engvall. Engvall moves the puck ahead. Anders Lee blocked off by Fox. Now Lee shoots in. Roslovic will pick it up from his goaltender. Rangers have lost two straight. Islanders six consecutive victories. Islanders leading this one on a pair of Brock Nelson goals, two to one. Here comes Roslovic down the left side behind the net. Carries the puck out, leaves it for Lindgren. Lindgren at the right point. Shot is deflected out of play. Off the stick of Adam Fox. Contact your local Tri Honda dealer for a great deal today. Yeah, Roslovic does a pretty good job of wheeling the puck in. He circles the wagons somewhat. Drops it off to Lindgren. Lindgren throws it to the net. And his defense partner right in that high slot, Adam Fox, chips it into the netting. But good offensive zone penetration by Jack Roslovic, forcing the face off as a result of the deflection in the net to the left of the Islander net, Miter Kenny. Off the draw, Rangers control. Trouba with a drive. Right pad saved by Sorokin. But Aaron keeps it alive. Into the corner. Trocek leaves the puck there. Riley knocks Lafreniere to the ice. Lafreniere back in the skates. Out for Gustafson. A shot missed the net. Panarin and Sezikis. Puck comes up the boards to Truba. Moves it in deep. Panarin tied up by Pollock. Riley moves the puck ahead. Sezikis on the right side. Chips it along. Waiting for it is Sesterkin. Sesterkin moves it up the glass. And out to center. Past Panarin. Puck played by Bortuzzo. Slides it back across to Romanov. He shoots in. So Stark it out to his right. And now Gustafson comes back to pick it up. Just over 14 minutes remaining. Rangers trailing 2-1. to one. Rangers looking to keep hold on that top spot in the division, in the league. Islanders looking to maintain and enhance their lead in third place in the division. Here's Miller out at the left point. Shot right on to the save by Sorokin. He will hang on to it. 13.55 on the clock. Uh, sticks and gloves come up once again. Third period. Islanders 2, Rangers 1. Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. Ranger fans, when deciding to take a charter bus, there is only one choice. That's Best Trails and Travel, New York City's premier charter bus company. Best Trails and Travel have the highest level of charter bus service in New York City and has been serving New York's leading corporations, professional sports teams, and private individuals for over 25 years. They offer premier customer service and the newest fleet of buses in the industry. Whether you're traveling with family, friends, or colleagues, Best Trails and Travel guarantees you the ultimate traveling experience. Visit them at besttrailstravel.com or call 212-206-6974. Hey New York, Dave Maloney from the New York Rangers here. If morning cold and flu symptoms are getting the best of you, but you still love supporting the blue shirts, then it's time to body check those symptoms. Drop the gloves and give yourself a comeback first thing in the morning with new Mucinex Kickstart. It's the all-in-one and done relief you love with a jolt of instant cooling sensation. Now that's a game-winning strategy. See you at the garden. Go Mucinex Kickstart. Go Rangers. It's not cold and flu season, it's comeback season. Please use as directed. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment. 
with the Road Trip Ready Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid from Honda. So bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the far destinations. Bring on the memories. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid or CRV Hybrid. Contact your local Honda dealer for a great deal today. See dealer for financing details. 13.55 remaining, third period. Islanders with a 2-1 lead. Rangers with a 7-0 edge in shots here in the third. Yeah, the possession uh, obviously certainly represented by the number of shots taken. Rangers have spent basically the full six minutes and change here in the offensive zone. One really great A scoring chance off the stick of Artemi Panarin. Face off to the right here. Of Shesterkin, who's uh, Sorokin, who's been busy here in the third period, as you mentioned, Kenny. Rangers had the first five shots in the game. First seven here in the third. Rangers control. Gustafson, far side, Panarin, tied up by Pollock. Now Kreider with it. In behind the net, Panarin comes out in front. Turn, shoots, saved by Sorokin. Islanders look to clear the puck out, and they do. Picked up on the right wing by Palmieri. Palmieri cutting wide, then shoots wide. Held in by Fashing. Fashing replacing Holmstrom in the lineup, and he has two assists. Here's Fashing leaving it in the far corner for Nelson, who has both Islander goals. Into the slot. Fashing shoots wide. Now Panarin on the puck. Gives it away to Nelson. He's tripped up. Puck comes across, and a big save. Marcia Sturkin on Fashing, but the Islanders will head to a power play. Wow. What a save by Igor Shesterkin. As... Wide open was Nelson. There was nobody within 10 feet defending Shesterkin when this puck gets turned over. Puck goes into the corner, tries to throw it up the boards. Boy, that's just a, again, you know, it's a play forcing a play up the boards with nobody left in front to protect. Lindgren has to take the feet out from underneath of Nelson and Shesterkin makes a bell ringing save. <laughs> Islander power play here. Off the draw. Rangers shoot the puck down ice. Lindgren in the box for the second time tonight. This afternoon, two for tripping. Islanders are 0 for 4. They've had nearly eight minutes of power play time. They had that four minute power play earlier. Here comes Barzell. Pass on the left wing. Give and go. Barzell with it. Stripped by Truba. Rangers move the puck ahead. Here comes Goodrow. Then across the line. Back out. Now to Fox. Fox holds. Top of the left wing circle. Back for Truba. Shoot. Saved by Sorokin. And he hangs on. Now he's talking to Arthur Staple of the athletic between periods. And he mentioned that the Rangers might want to think playing four on five <laughs> more often. Because of the fact that their quality scoring chances have come shorthanded. And once again, was this a great A chance? No, but it was a uh, it was a shot off the right point, off the stick of Jacob Truba. Not only are you generating chances, but you're not playing, you're not defending in your own end of the ice. Short-handed. Face off now to the left of Sorokin. Off the draw, Islanders control. Riley starts ahead with it. Now Nelson, who has both Islander goals. Pass on the left wing. Engvall back across. Picked off. Savannah Jack starts back the other way. And shoots in with the Rangers shorthanded for another minute. Islanders lead 2-1. to one. Here comes Nelson. Offside. Offside. Engvall on the yeah. left wing. Boy, I'll tell you, that, that area of the ice is crucial in that transition game on the power play penalty kill, right? I just think if you don't make a play, you know, away from close to the offensive blue line, there's a good chance you're going to get stopped. This one, you being stopped, the offense, Islanders, Islanders go offside, face off in front of the Rangers bench. Nelson on the draw with Sabanajad. Islanders control. Riley with the puck, back in his own zone, starts ahead with it. Now for Pollock, shoots in. Winds around behind Shesterkin. 
Miller on it for the Rangers. Sends it around. Kept alive by Pollock. Now the Rangers clear. Pollock has it once again for the Islanders. Cross size for Riley. Now back over to Pollock. Into the Rangers' zone. Pass on the left wing for Engvall. Engvall sends the puck around. Nelson with it. Back out for Pollock. Deflects it across. Riley down low. Engvall. Engvall in the far corner. Back out for Pollock. Now Riley. Riley near side for Nelson. Back across. Riley with it. Islanders move the puck in deep. Engvall in behind the net. Knocked off his stick. Palmieri controls. Looks to feed Nelson, but it goes through and rolls all the way down. Hey, once again, good penalty kill from the Rangers, and that power play certainly isn't terribly threatening from an Islander standpoint. Here comes Ajo, flipping the puck in on goal. Glove by Shesterkin. Puts it down for Truba. Ahead for Panarin. Deflects it along. Now Lafreniere. So the Rangers kill off the penalty. Islanders now 0 for 5 on the power play. Horvat behind the Islander net. Horvat through center. Into the Ranger zone. Horvat held up by Gustafson. Back out for Barzell. A shot saved by Shesterkin. Gustafson to the puck. Taken away by Barzell. Now Gustafson once again. It escapes. Islanders get it back. Puck off the stick of Horvat. And now the Rangers come away with it. Into the Islanders zone. Down the left side. Panarin. Now for Lafreniere. Back across. Could not connect. And Barzell has it now for the Islanders. Barzell into the Ranger zone. Holds. Dropping it off for a shot by Lee. Save. Rebound. Pajot tied up. And the Rangers now gain control of the puck. Shoot to center. Barzell intercepts and sends it back along. Lee in pursuit. Lee in behind the Ranger net. Centering oh. pass sent through the crease by Pajot. Now Lee with it again. Lee looks to cut away from Lindgren. Moves in front. Stuff attempt to the save by Shesterkin. I love that line change in the Rangers. All oh, four guys head to the bench. As the Islanders have the puck going into the offensive zone. Wow. You're listening to New York Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. White Claw fans, introducing new White Claw Vodka Plus Soda. Triple Wave Filtered Vodka Plus Real Juice. White Claw invented a unique process to make superior, smoother vodka. The first Triple Wave Filtered Vodka. Blended with real fruit juice and sparkling water to deliver a vodka plus soda of unparalleled refreshment and taste. With four fruit-forward flavors, pineapple, peach, wild cherry, and watermelon. Enjoy a White Claw Vodka Plus Soda today. Available at your local New York or New Jersey retail store. 100 calories, 4.5% alcohol volume, no added sugar, gluten-free. Attention hockey fans, let's talk winning off the ice. Thrive Well Infusion specializes in delivering cutting-edge infusion therapies for rare diseases and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. At Thrive Well, patients receive care, comfort, convenience, and compassion so they can get back to cheering for their favorite teams. From New York to New Jersey and across Long Island, Thrive Well offers private, state-of-the-art infusion suites along with breakaway treatment from their highly trained medical team. Find out more at thrivewellinfusion.com. Thrive Well. Saving lives drip by drip. Stay tuned for the final five brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka. It's America's original craft vodka. Visit them at titosvodka.com. Thanks off to the left of Igor Shesterkin. The Rangers penalty kill has been stellar in both ends of the ice. Have probably created at least four of the top six quality scoring chances and has been able to keep the Islander power play off the board. A spectacular save by Igor Sesterkin. Preceded a penalty, or followed a penalty call, and this game remains a 2-1 Islander lead. Off the faceoff, Fox with the puck for the Rangers. Knocked off his stick, Kako over to help out. Kako, left side, Lindgren. Lindgren shoots in. Puck winds around. Kako over for the Rangers. Met by Riley. Puck taken away. Kako regains. 
Knocked down along the boards by Cooley. And now the Islanders clear. No icing with nine and a half to go. Jesterkin quickly ahead. Puck rolls nice. deep into the Islanders zone. It's an icing. I know what they're trying. I know what he's trying here. It's just Sturkin. But again, now you've got a defensive zone face-off. Maybe just hold the puck, move. You know, it's the end of the end of a shift for this um, Wenberg line. Now you got a defensive zone face-off to Igor Shosturkin's right. Wenberg and Nelson Islanders win it. Shot by Paul Mary. That's gloved. Well, you know, really, when, when you think about the Islanders' second goal, right, Keandre Miller tries a bit of a hit-and-hope play through the middle of the ice. Jimmy Vesey misses it. Face-off in the defensive zone now with 30, you know, 35 seconds to go. It ends up in the back of your net. Certainly is easy in hindsight to look at a play and go, well, maybe you will try that high-risk pass through the middle. Face-off now to the right. Of Shesterkin, Nelson with a shot off the draw. It goes wide. Puck set ahead by Kreider. Onto the stick of Zibanejad. Moving in with a shot. And that goes wide to the right. Soroka may have gotten a piece of it. Kept alive by the Rangers. Zibanejad towards the net. Kicked out by the right pad of Soroka. Yeah, Chris Kreider just missed on a little bit of a attempt to swat that thing that was going by him. Now Pellick back in the Islander zone. Holds. Hands over to Pollock. Under nine minutes remaining. The Islanders two and the Rangers one. Pollock up the boards. Deflected down by Horvat. Snyder winds it around out of the zone. Horvat on the right wing. Back into the Ranger end. Snyder chips it around. Sezikis in behind the net for Barzell. Barzell taken down by Snyder. Roslovic comes over. Now Zibanejad comes in by Sezika. Schneider to the puck. Rangers now regain control. Miller goes up the middle. Backhanded along by Roslovic. Deep into the Islander zone. Right behind the net by Pajo. Over on his left to Romanov. Shoots to center. Puck is loose. And now Truba on it for the Rangers. Up the left wing for Panarin. Moves it down ice. Romanov back for the Islanders. Puck along the far wall. Truba knocked down by Lee. Now Panarin comes over. Truba bouncing puck. Taken away by Cajo. Rangers keep it alive. Back out it comes to Lafreniere. The right point. Shoots. It goes wide. Seven and a half remaining. Shot by Panarin from the left wing boards. That's smothered by Sorokin. Now some pushing and shoving. As uh, Trocek pushes Romanov into his goaltender, then Pajot jumps in on Trocek. A little bit of a chain reaction. Really good job by Jake Truba on the far boards to keep the play alive. And that one-on-one -on -one board battle situation that the Islanders seem to be pretty good at. Ranger captain better during that sequence. Face off to the right here is Igor uh, Ilya Sorokin. That's about the tenth time I've mistaken the two of them. Apologize for that, partner. But good job by Jake Truba to force this thing into the offensive zone. Face off to the right of Sorokin. <laughs> Nelson on the draw with Zibanejad. Rangers win it. Here's Fox. Shoots. Goes wide. Beasy in to play the puck. So Beasy out here now with Zibanejad and Kreider. In Roslovic's spot, puck comes out to center. But, of course, we've seen Beasley on that line. Right. Including a couple of games ago when Roslovic was a scratch. Fans upset. Fox was taken to the ice. Here's Beasley down the right side and with a shot. Blocker to side by Sorokin. And the puck winds up out of play. So, again, the Islanders with a season-high 34 block shots. In the last game of the between these two teams, and again off this faceoff, Adam Fox, win, or Adam Fox, the puck gets back to Adam Fox off the draw. Fox advances toward the net. It goes off Pollock's path. You know, so it's that they clog up the middle. They've got some big bodies back there, and the Islanders are 23 block shots so far. Off the faceoff, puck comes to Fox. Back out, but Aaron shot blocked. And now Pellick 
Moving in, Panarin hooks him. He gets a stick caught up in Pelic, a delayed penalty. Would be a shot, shot off the right? side of the net, and it is for the defenseman, Adam Pelic. But what was it that created the opportunity? The blocked shot. Face-off win, possession. Pelic blocks the shot. Now again, it goes off, to a, off of him into a really face and... So Pelic, the good news from the island or from a ranger perspective is Pelic's not known, you know, to be an open knife offensive player. He's got some decent offensive skills off the blue line. Away we go. He has one goal this season. Moving in on a penalty shot against Shesterkin. He shoots and Shesterkin makes the save. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the thing. And it's another situation where you're, you're better served in those circumstances to have Pelic taking the penalty shot than I think the, the, the team that is awarded the offensive situation should have the option of taking the penalty shot or the power play. Because you would certainly take the power play if you were the Islanders in that situation. So Shostokin makes the save on the Pelic penalty shot attempt. 6.56 remaining. And the Islanders maintain a 2-1 lead. Face-off control by the Islanders. Out at the left point, Riley moves the puck around. Sent back the other way, past Clutterbuck. Now Zibanejad comes over. Clutterbuck keeps it alive. Sends in behind the goal. Trocek on it for the Rangers. He trailed 2-1. to one. Clutterbuck with a hit on Trocek, shoulder to shoulder. Islanders keep it alive. Shot by Martin, stopped by Shesterkin. Throws it up the left side, and Lafreniere clears. Portuzo fires right back in. Now Schneider with it for the Rangers. Schneider's pass, blocked off by Engvall. Now Keandre Miller starts ahead with the puck. Down to 6.15 on the clock here in the third. Island is two, Rangers one. Pass up the left side, here's Wenberg. Moves the puck along. Ajo back on it. Now well, Romanov moves it around to the far side. Panarin over for the Rangers. Now to Snyder. Glides to his left. Shoots deflected. Saved by Sorokin. Loose in front. Lee knocks it to the corner. Lee tied up. Lafreniere comes in. 5.45 remaining. Islanders with a 2-1 to one lead. Brock Nelson with both Islander goals. Snyder shorthanded for the Rangers. And now the Islanders have iced the puck with 5.38 remaining. Yeah, that deflection off the stick of, of Panarin was actually deflected friendly fire off the stick of Anders Lee and Sorokin in the right spot to make the save. Not a lot of second chance opportunities for the Rangers here. 36 shots on goal so far from the home standing blue shirts. 13 here in the third period. Islanders with nine. Savannah Jad and Paggio. Roslovic back out with Savannah Jad and Kreider. We saw Vizi on the last shift. Savannah Jad replaced in the circle by Roslovic. With 5.38 to go. Roslovic wins it along the boards. Kreider tied up. Lee takes it away. Sends to center for Engvall. Engvall leaving it for Paggio. Down the right side waiting for teammates. Risk the puck around. Fashing plays it on the left wing boards. Fashing stick handling in behind the Ranger net. Taken off the puck. Gustafson on it now for the Rangers. Gustafson up the middle. Zabanajan now on the right side. Shot by Roslovic. Stopped by Sorokin. Puck comes to the line. Rangers hold in. Zabanajan back out for Truba. Truba moves the puck around. Kreider in the corner. Roslovic comes in. Two Islanders as well. Final five brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka. America's original craft vodka. Visit them at titosvodka.com. Puck now deep in the Islander zone. Roslovic with it. Roslovic back out to the left point for Truba. Moves the puck to the corner. Zabanajan spins away from Nelson. Now Kreider on it for the Rangers. Kreider back out. Truba. Truba. Long shot through a screen. Saved by Sorokin. And he will hang on. 4.36 remaining. Here in the third from the Garden, Islanders lead it 2-1. to one. Rangers hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network continues after this timeout. 
30 for 30, 30 for 30, 30 for 30, come get some. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Security Dodge's 30 for 30 sale. You can take up to 30% off MSRP during the next 30 days on brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee, four by-es, gladiators, wagoneers, grand wagoneers, all up to 30% off MSRP. Come get some. Shop 24-7 at securitydodge.com during our Jeep celebration event. New York Presbyterian gives you the healthcare choices you want. Like over 450 locations in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and Westchester. Virtual care that lets you connect with us digitally. World-class doctors from Columbia and Weill Cornell Medicine. And Health Matters, an online source for the latest health and wellness topics and tips. Experience extraordinary health care when and where you need it. Stay amazing. New York Presbyterian. Restrictions apply. Choking is the fourth leading cause of accidental deaths. One child dies every five days from choking, but let me tell you about LifeVac, a life-saving airway clearance device which has saved over 1,950 lives. LifeVac is the easiest, safest, and only non-invasive choking rescue device that can save the life of your loved one. For a small investment, less than $75, you can be prepared to save a life. Visit LifeVac.net and enter promo code ESPN to save 20% and secure your home kit today. That's LifeVac.net and enter promo code ESPN. Let's pause 10 seconds to allow stations to identify themselves on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. This is your radio home for New York Rangers hockey. This is 98.7 ESPN, WEPN-FM, New York. The Final Five is brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka, America's original craft vodka. Visit them at titosvodka.com. Face off to the right of Ilya Sorokin. With the Rangers trailing by a goal. That, that they are. The Rangers, 38 shots on goal in the afternoon here. Just one goal. Off the draw. Kreider in front. Roslovic off the stick of Sorokin. Islanders move the puck down. Deep into the Rangers zone. It's an icing. 426 remaining. You're right. This, once again, it'll be rinse and repeat. The Rangers hope they get... Possession of the puck off the faceoff. Again, like a very tight play here by Kreider into Roslovic. There just it's not enough room to make anything happen. Sorokin makes the save. The Rangers have certainly played well enough to deserve a better fate here, trailing by one late in the third. Off the draw, Pellick moves it up the boards and down. Another icing. Seven more seconds off the clock, down to 4.19. Right. So the Rangers are in this situation, a late goal in the second. And then a penalty shot saved by Shesterkin here in the third. So the Rangers within the one shot still as a result of that save. Following this game, only one remaining. One point ahead of Carolina. The Hurricanes have two games left against Chicago and Columbus. Off the draw, shot by Panarin, he scores! Right off the faceoff, Artemi Panarin ties the game at two. Well, I'll tell you, just again, you, you got a sense of what the Islanders are doing, right? If all else fails, just get it out. Well, the Rangers finally win a faceoff that ends up in the back of the net. Off the stick of Artemi Panarin. 48 on the season, and the Rangers have tied this thing with 4.17 left in the Regulation. Wow. Huge goal. Huge Set. goal as the Rangers look to. That is. You are. Uh, maintain totally their right. hold. Right. Wow. Now again. You said another shift here now. You got to manage this shift after a goal. Try and build off the momentum here. And go to work. But Aaron's 48th of the season. Rangers have tied it. Now Lee shoots in. So after those back-to-back -back icings, as you described, but Aaron comes up big off the faceoff as the Rangers tie the game. Four minutes remaining. Here's Engvall. Engvall pushed to the boards. Puck carried out by Kreider. Kreider into the Islander zone. Goes to his right. Back hands the puck around. Trocek the assist on the Panarin goal. Here's Miller's shot. That's blocked by Bortuzzo. Rostovic keeps it alive. Blows it into the corner. 
Wiley on the puck for the Islanders. Sends it back around to Bortuzzo. Up the boards and out to center. Three and a half remaining. Schneider back on it now for the Rangers. Who have 40 shots. Islanders with 29. But Aaron with his 48th goal. Point number 118. Rangers shoot back down. Puck sent around by Romanov. And now the Islanders clear. Here's Nelson into the Rangers zone on the right wing. Nelson gets to the boards hard by Gustafson. Truba in to play the puck. Three minutes remaining. Tied at two with the guard. Here's Aho. Aho flips it ahead. Shot by Fashing deflected and then a save by Shosturkin. Rangers clear the puck out. Rolling deep into the Islanders zone. Cooley in pursuit. Cooley held up by Aho. Romanov picks up the puck now for the Islanders. Up the left side. Sent along by Sezikis. Chasing with Lindgren. Lindgren flips it ahead for Zabanajan. And Zabanajan will lift the puck out. Pollock on it for the Islanders. Shoots back down. Zabanajan and Horvat. They battle for the puck. Sezikis comes in. Now Barzell. Spinning. Shooting. It goes through the crease wide. Comes out to Pollock. A shot. Save. Oh, Rebound. Sezikis. Oh. Oh. Did you start to get a piece of that he one? Wow. Wow, it's right. Pollock at the right point holds in. Now the Rangers force it out. Pollock on it for the Islanders. Some big saves by Igor Shesterkin here in the third. A penalty shot earlier. And now a huge save on Sezikis. Anders Lee backhands down. Miller on it for the Rangers. Up the boards to Panarin. Panarin broke his stick on the pass attempt. He also fell down. Carried back across by Paggio. Paggio in the corner. Sends it around behind the net. Engvall with it for the Islanders. Engvall back out for a shot by Pollock. Stick save by Shosturkin. Puck out of play with a minute 29 remaining. Not that it matters to us. But if you're the Islanders, why in the world would you go into the prevent defense that you were doing for the third period? So you get yourself back to even. The next two shifts, the Rangers can't get out of their end. In the meantime, Igor Shosturkin, absolutely spectacular. That went off the crossbar, too. So it goes off his blocker, his blocker being Shosturkin, and then off the crossbar. Face off to the right of Igor Shosturkin. But Aaron from Trocek at 15.43 ties the game. After the Islanders went into that prevent defense that Dave mentioned, two icings. Rangers now can't clear. Shot by Nelson, blocked off the glass. Schneider and Nelson come together. Rangers work the puck ahead. Kreider circles back with it. Now sends to center. Carried back in by Nelson. Nelson's pass broken up by Kreider out of the zone. Nelson fires back in. Schneider with it for the Rangers. Down to a minute five, remaining in regulation. There's Miller, wristing the puck around. Bouncing puck. Rangers keep it alive. Kreider sends it into the corner. Zabanajad on it there. Back out for Fox. Fox with a shot. Blocked. Behind the net. Feasy. Feasy stick handling. Turn. Shoot. Saved by Sorokin. Nelson goes down to his knees. Tries to cover up the puck. Rangers keep it alive. They're looking for it. It's underneath Nelson. Now Aho up the boards. Fox with it for the Rangers. Back out to Zabanajad. Shoots. Blocker saved by Sorokin. Down to 30 seconds. Puck carried out by Palmieri. Palmieri shoots in. Stop behind the net by Shosturkin for Zibanejad. Wrists it around. No icing. With 20 seconds. Islanders back to pick it up. Behind their own net. Portuzo now 15 seconds. Up the boards. Back to the side boards by Trocek. And now a hand pass stops play with 8.2. So... The 15:43 mark. The Rangers' last three periods and change took on a different complexion with a goal by Artemi Panarin. A face-off win by Vinny Trocheck. 42 shots on goal for the Rangers. 31 for the New York Islanders. Face-off in the neutral zone. That should just about kill regulation here. All things being equal. If the Rangers could pull out a win today, the President's Trophy would be in their destiny, in their own hands. 
Should they then defeat Ottawa right. on Monday? This, and, you know, the two points is just huge. Puck is dropped. Rangers control. We are headed to overtime here at the Garden. So the Rangers go to 111. Islanders get a big point. They go to 90. But again, this extra point is huge for both clubs. But from a Rangers standpoint, if they pick it up, they would go to 112 and control their own destiny for the top record in the National Hockey League because Carolina and Dallas are at 109, both with two games remaining. So the most they can get to is 113. 113. So the Rangers here, boy, I tell you, you can, cannot, cannot underestimate the importance of that goal late the third from what will happen over the course of the next couple of days. In the meantime... I thought the Rangers were, again, well, Shesterkin, Shesterkin made. Two, three huge saves in the third. Sorokin faced volume. I'm not sure he had to, he had to make the spectacular saves that Shesterkin did. But in the meantime, here we are at 2-2. Two, uh, two, two into overtime in game 81 with so many things on the line. <laughs> wow. So the Islanders now with 90 points. Two games remaining for them after this one. They're now four ahead of Pittsburgh, five ahead of Washington for third place in the division. Have switched ends. We await overtime. Rangers outshot the.
Islanders 22-11 in the third, 43-30. One overall, and the Islanders have been in fifteen overtime. As the Rangers can get some fresh skaters on. Lead pass Fox. Moving it off the bench. Lodge it across. Oh. Missing the net was Trocek. Puck comes out of the zone. Rangers had a brilliant opportunity there. As the two fresh skaters, Fox and Trocek, were on a two-on-one down low for the Islanders. Down to a minute 40. Islanders come out of their zone in overtime. Tied at two. Barzell with speed. And across the Ranger line. Barzell for the left circle. Shoot. Saved by Shostak and he hangs on. Well, you really got the sense that neither team wanted to make that egregious turnover or mistake with the puck. As the Rangers catch the Islanders in a change. Boy, still would have liked to have seen Adam Fox shoot the puck. I mean, that's the, that, that's that Ranger. I want to make a, you know, a really spectacular play where, although... You know, Trocek might have been deep if, if he had missed the net or Shesterkin made the save. Off the draw. Pellick with it straight away. Moves to his right. Lost it. Horvat on the recovery for the Islanders. Oh, Horvat down the left side. Lost the puck. Horvat and Truba behind the Ranger net. Horvat for Barzell. Back behind. Now Miller takes it away. DeAndre Miller spins away from Barzell. Drops it off for Truba. Two defensemen on the ice here for the Rangers. Up the right side, Zibanejad, back across for Miller. We get one minute remaining in overtime as Miller circles back. Truba heads for the bench. Here comes Miller with Zibanejad and Kreider. Miller down the left side, cutting wide. Miller met by Pellick. Oh, Kreider was God. not the ice. Islanders with a two-on-one. Down the right side, Nelson moving in. Shoot, saved by Shosturkin. Palmieri to the puck. Palmieri towards the net. Intercepted. Zibanejad. Outlet pass for Kreider. Drops it back to Miller. Now on the right side. Too far for Zibanejad. Palmieri with it. Slides it across. 25 seconds remaining in overtime. Here comes Pollock. Cuts to the net. And the puck through the crease. Pollock keeps it alive. Lost it. Panera with it for the Rangers. Looks to gain a step on Horvat. Pass picked off by Barzell. 10 seconds. Barzell down the left wing to the circle. Shoots on save. Snatched out of the air by Shesterkin. Wow. What a save. What a save by Igor Shesterkin. Barzell comes in as offside. Tries to go far side. I actually thought that thing went by him. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I am just really curious about the personnel usage here of the Rangers in overtime. Very curious about the selection. Yeah, the one shift they were pinned with Wenberg, Gustafson, Lafreniere. Now Zabanajad comes out. Face off to the right of Shesterkin. They've added some time. 7.1 on the clock. Horvat in for the draw with Trocek. Now the... the Add some more time, 7.4. Puck is dropped behind the Ranger goal, pinned by Truba, time winding down, and we head to a shootout. Well, it's not the same dramatic consequences as 2010, the shootout in Philadelphia that cooked the Rangers' playoff chance. But it is a pretty dramatic shootout. They'll have an implication on the Rangers' playoff positioning. That was a riveting overtime session only 
because of the glove save by Igor Shosturkin and the missed opportunity by Vincent Trocek. There really wasn't an awful lot happened beyond that. I, I'm just curious why Keandre Miller was out there as long as he was. On that one shift, they had yeah. two defensemen out, right. with Truba and Miller. So an ice scrape here. Goalies will switch ends again. Rangers in shootouts this season are three and three. The Islanders just one and four. Only one shootout win for the Islanders. And the good buddies in goals, Shostarkin yeah. and Sorokin, will be involved in a game 81 shootout here at the Garden. Rangers with the huge goal from Panarin at 15.43 of the third period. Looks like Panarin will shoot first. Yeah, Artemi Panarin, who put a whole different complexion on this game at the 15.34 mark of the third period when he tied the score. All right, here we go. Sorokin to our left. Here comes Panarin. In across the line. Down the left side. Panarin cuts in. Shoots! Scores! Yeah. That wasn't a fair fight, that one. Actually, that might be as quick as Panarin has ever come in on a shootout goal. Comes in with some speed and goes long side, about two-thirds the way up the net on the glove side. And the Rangers get the leadoff run. Kyle Palmieri, who has scored a goal in four straight games, two assists today. Scored the overtime winner against Montreal in their last outing. Palmieri picks up the puck at center, right across the line, down the right side to the circle. Slows down. Palmieri then shoots off the post. Wow. Wow. <laughs> could it come any closer? They could only come closer if that had been the deciding shot. Because advantage out up next. Rangers lead the shootout 1 0. Top of the second. But Aaron with the opening goal. There isn't a person in the seat here at Madison Square Garden. Chance of Mika from the Garden crowd. Here he comes across the blue line. Zivanejad moving in. Shoot save by Sorokin. Looked like he tried to go the same spot as Panarin. The glove stops. Mika Zibanejad, the glove of Ilya Sorokin. There's Brock Nelson, who has both Islander goals today. During the booze from the crowd, Rangers lead the shootout 1-0, bottom of the second. There comes Nelson. Nelson picks up the puck, down the left side. Moving in on Shosturkin, he shoots, stick save! Vincent Trocek with an opportunity to win it. Yeah, again, Shosturkin doesn't move. Nelson tries to go five-hole down in the butterfly with a stick in the right position is Igor Shosturkin. And each row check has a chance to win this thing. Sorokin to our left. Here comes Trocek. Picks up the puck across the blue line. Moving down the right side slowly. Cuts to the slot. Trocek shoots and scores! Rangers win! Vincent Trocek with a shootout. Clincher for the Rangers. And they will control their own destiny for the President's Trophy heading into Game 82. I'm telling you, could Vincent Trocek have gone any slower? <laughs> I go, please, please end this thing. And he does with a shot to the long side, the stick side. Trocek puts an awful lot on the Rangers' plate for game 82. Wow. He won the faceoff, which led to the Panarin goal. And then Panarin and Trocek with the goals in the shootout. Just starting with a couple of saves. Things were looking dire for the Rangers late in the third period. But they pick up a huge victory. They go to 112 points. 
And with a victory on Monday, can clinch the President's Trophy. They now have a three-point lead on Carolina and Dallas in the overall league standings. Boy, I'll tell you, you couldn't write that up any better. But at the end of the day, while the Panarin Trocheck story would not be written, but for Igor Shosturkin. Shosturkin was brilliant in the third when he had to make a save. He had to make a save. As the Rangers had drawn a penalty, and on a bang-bang play, he goes left to right and absolutely robs the Islander shooter. Does the same thing in the shootout, and the Rangers are still alive to win this overall, uh, you know, President's Trophy. An amazing, amazing afternoon that changed <laughs> dramatically at the 15:34 mark. And, and again, we made the observation. I just don't know why the Islanders went into the prevent game. Right. They were no factor in the third period until Panarin scored. So the Rangers win it in a shootout, three to two. Vincent Trocheck, the clincher. Panarin with the first goal of the shootout. What an afternoon at Madison Square Garden. We'll see you Monday night for the regular season finale against Ottawa. Thanks to our producer, Ray Santiago. Our engineer, Gary Jeffries. For Dave Maloney, I'm Kenny Albert. You're listening to Rangers Hockey on ESPN New York and the MSG Radio Network. Post game with Don LaGreca. Up next. Get more in a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. More selection, over 750 new vehicles available, and more savings on their entire Mazda lineup. Lease the all-new 2024 Mazda CX-90 PHEV preferred for just $299 a month at Ramsey Mazda. Route 17 North in Ramsey. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. Call 888-885-2891 for lease details. Excludes tax, title, and registration. Zero security deposit. VIN R1157064. MSRP 51320. Ends 43024. To win the cup, everything needs to line up perfectly. No different than finding the person you want to marry. When the time comes to propose, do what I did. Visit the engagement experts at London Jewelers. They'll make shopping for a ring easy. Let them help you pick or design the perfect ring to fit any budget from their 2 by London collection. London Jewelers is committed to getting it just right. So visit London Jewelers today at any of their seven locations, including the newest location at the mall at Short Hills. Mention I told you to stop by and you'll get the Michael K. treatment. to the New York Rangers postgame show. Now here's Don LaGreca on the MSG Radio Network. Maybe not exactly the way you drew it up, but the Rangers pick up the win in the shootout of the New York Islanders. And a big win it is, now 112 points. And, boy, you're watching this game, and you just get a feel like maybe it's just not going to be their afternoon. Rangers struggling to score even strength.